Welcome to the Sun and Soul Podcast, your go-to podcast for anything and everything Filipino here in the UK. We are your hosts, Asiatic and KG. Yes, yes, we are bridging the culture in music, food, and lifestyle. So if that sounds yummy and enticing to you guys, please consider subscribing. All right, there we go. Who do we have here, Kaya Ace? <laughs> One and only. <laughs> so. My good friend Harry, right? He's the owner of Pimp My Ramen. He got a pop up stall since 2014. He does ramen burger with a Filipino twist. And here to us today, explaining the man himself, Mr. Harry. All right. Woo! How are you, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, good bro. Thanks yeah. for having me. Nice. Having thank me. you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. So, bro, musta anong balita? Yeah, I'm good. Like, um, Business is good. Um, life, work balance is good for me. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, I'm in a good place right now. That's what we wanna hear. Yeah, yeah. You know, Thank you. work-life balance is yeah. very important. You know, oh, I mean? sobra, sobrang importante nung just ko. Hindi ka pwedeng work, work, work lang palagi, di ba? Yeah, sure. You'll burn out, isn't it? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And you have to think, um, you know, what's important for mm-hmm. you, like, because um, uh, you can make more money, but yeah. like. Um, There's always a trade-off. Of course, yep. you, you you're selling your time. Mm-hmm. So, for me, I'd rather have less money and more time. Yeah, that's that makes Completely sense. Completely agree. Like, <laughs> we we have kind of like the same mentality when it comes to mm. money like that. You know, mm. I rather have yeah. more time, especially with my daughter. For sure, stuff like that, rather than you know work, work, work. Yeah, I It's, mean, look, I I really commend you for for doing mm-hmm. that, especially yeah. with your daughter. You spend a lot of time with your daughter, and yeah. you know. I mean, you know, she's not going to be this age that's ever. That's true. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I mean, time is very important. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only thing talaga yung kailangan natin because time, mm. that's the only thing that we can't beat. You know For what I mean? Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Yung pera kikitain mo yun, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. Time I, I, and memories. Also, I feel like we need a lot less than mm. we think we that's need. That's true. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. So we have a new segment dito sa podcast namin just to uh, try to get to know our guests better. Meron kaming uh, segment bilang icebreaker. Ang tawag ay totoo o hindi totoo. So we're going to ask uh, questions yes. sa guests and uh, they're gonna say if it's true or untrue. All right, so you'll have to hold this one. <laughs> it's like a flipping thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if it's true, you'll have to put... Uh, Totoo, tas hindi totoo. All right. That's good. <laughs> nice. Right. Okay, That's I'm gonna ask the, the questions. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the first one. Harry, are you a heartbreaker? What? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, well, <laughs> you only have <laughs> to <laughs> say <laughs> yes <laughs> or no. Oh uh, God! Is, <laughs> no, look, it's complicated. Like, there's, there's always a gray area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But anyway. No, ganon daw yata yung dapat chung. Like I would say this. Okay. Yeah, so I would, good. Good, good. Look, let me explain. Okay. <laughs> Kait na like uh, I probably broken somebody's heart before. Yeah. It wasn't intentional, so yeah. that's true. Maybe, maybe that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it, it to that. It wasn't inst- yeah, in- intentional. I, like I yeah. didn't do it uh, on purpose. Okay. Because there are some things, right? Sometimes you may not be able to all of a sudden. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you, you're just not right for each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. <laughs> All right. Issue agad eh, no? Unong tatong right. issue. <laughs> Presinto agad. Uh, <laughs> second question. All right. Okay, Harry. Do you consider yourself a gym rat? Or a uh, gym bro? Yes. Mm-hmm. I didn't used to be. But okay. but yeah, I, I've completely changed. Is like, it? Uh, Lately I, lang yun or...? No, I think it's a slow process, but mm-hmm. but I used I used to be like the complete opposite of what I am now. Okay. I I'm just lazy and like quite overweight and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, now I'm like all about health. Yeah. And now the good thing about this time is um, uh, it's quite acceptable to to better yourself. There's always like mm-hmm. self help is such an yeah. accepted thing right now. Like, yeah. Back in the day, it's like oh, you're reading a self help book, like you yeah. must be. 
Yeah, depressed or thinking yeah, right wrong that, with you, you know, something mentally wrong with you or something, mm-hmm. but gaganon, ganyan. O kaya sinasabi nila like, oh, do you think you're doing this? So, mm. this, you think you're better than us? So, ganon sila, di ba? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Lalo na yung Pinoy mentality, di ba? Exactly. Yeah. Marami na, oh, but but ka nag hindi mo naman kailangan yan. Yeah. Yeah. Alam yan you know? Part ata ng crab mentality yan. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Parang, Pero ngayon, okay na. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I guess you have to think... Um, You know, uh, people think maybe maybe you feel like you're superior. To yeah, them. yeah, That's, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that makes right. sense. So how often na uh, nagjim ka? How in a week? Right, like it, it changes because I get bored with things. Yeah. So like, okay, now I go to the gym and then now I incorporate climbing again. Mm. I do climb a little bit and then I do play racket sports, mm. so badminton, squash, okay. stuff like that. I cycle mm. as well. But yeah. So uh, mini mix up mo. Yeah, Para bro. hindi siya masyadong boring, yeah. di ba? That's true. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's all about, some, it's all about um, longevity of whatever That's you're true. doing. Mm. Yeah. So. Kasi pag, yun nga sabi mo, longevity. Kasi pag you're doing the same monotonous thing mm. over and over mm. again, you're likely to quit yeah. straight away yeah, rather yeah, yeah. than, you know, pag ano, iba-iba yung ginagawa mo. Yeah, it, my variety. It's more exciting. Yeah, it's just more sustainable. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like, Same with dieting, you yeah. know, like um, like going extreme is not going to be sustainable. No, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes good sense. Oh, speaking yeah. of diet, do you have a like specific diet that you follow? Well, uh, yes and no. Mm-hmm. Like uh, for maybe five years now, I would I would only have only have one meal a day. Mm. So, but now obviously I'm 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 less strict with that. So. Okay. I would ha- have some protein in the morning mm. or okay. lunch time. But yeah, that's that's my. That's my All thing. right. Nice. All right. Let's go to the next question. Is Harry a pet lover? Uh, I didn't used to be. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but so that uh, is totoo. Totoo. Yes. yes. But yeah, because yeah, uh, my 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 wife is a, a big animal lover oh, and yeah. um, she does love dogs specifically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we have three dogs. Exactly. Three <laughs> dogs. Oh god. That has changed my life completely. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, you have a dog as well, so yeah. you know how it is. That is here. Yeah. At saka yung kwento mo, bro, yung paano mo na ano yung aso nyo galing sa Pinas oh, yeah. to go here. Oh yeah. Well, look, uh, when when my wife and I went to the Philippines, mm-hmm. um, so I was staying in Manila for a bit. So this guy just came to me, you know, like canto boy. Yeah. Like alam mo naman sa atin, parang you know you would go in the canto and then you magiinuman kayo mm-hmm. tagay ganyan uh, like this guy just came to me and was like oh you want a dog like <laughs> yeah this dog <laughs> just nag offer <laughs> nag offer lang ng aso bigla no, bigla not for food but like uh, <laughs> as a pet that's what happened too you know like that's the thing that's <laughs> like <laughs> limanagin mo kasi <laughs> Oh, hindi yun yung pumasok sa isip. Luto na ba yan? No, hindi pa. Alam mo yun? Um, As a pet. So yun, sabi niya, you want yeah. a dog. Sabi you niya, want a dog. Oh, okay, uh, it's in a plastic bag. It's like this this oh puppy that was God. quite ill. You know, like, oh, gusto mo ng aso. Like, you can Hello. just buy me emperador. Mm. You know, like, which is maybe like uh, two pounds. Mm-hmm. You know. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, gave me the dog. Uh, bought him a, a, a big emperador brandy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I I kind of raised him until he was like maybe four months to mm-hmm. travel to the UK and then yeah. took him I to I believe the UK. na yung asong yun ra- before it was mm. in really bad condition. Is yeah, that right? he was dying. Like if oh. if we didn't rescue that dog, we've been dead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah. So yeah, noodle noodle is here now. He's like a Japanese spit mixed with noodle. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cute name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because uh, me and my wife obviously were were into food, mm-hmm. so noodle. So yeah, he's here now. Um, yeah, good and healthy now. Yeah, he's actually getting fat, <laughs> so getting too healthy, maybe I'm tipping over the, the other side a little bit. Yeah, yeah. well, he's got Filipino blood. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, so how was the process? Na paano mo siya nadala dito? Yeah, that wasn't easy. Mm-hmm. So obviously we're a high rabies country, so mm-hmm. yeah. it's, it's quite strict. True. But yeah, I mean, look, we spent a lot of money in, on him, but mm-hmm. but it was it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so yeah, and then we we did take another dog, uh, but in here we mm. we adopted another dog, which is Chickpea, yeah. another oh, food, food. Um, name. <laughs> name. 
Yeah, she's a chihuahua, okay. but yeah, she's good. She is a bit feisty. Yeah, because she's she's small, so she thinks that she why has is to it? Go. Why is it like that? Complex. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung mga smaller breeds, sila pa yung mas mm. aggressive, no? For oh. sure. Yeah. Sila yung very ano, yappy. Yeah. Very very yappy. <laughs> <laughs> so, si Chickpea Das Noodle, sino yung isa hindi ko pa yata kilala niya? Yeah, so, we have a, a third dog, which, uh, we had, which we adapted her a bit later. So, oh, okay. her name's Mango. Mm. So, okay. yeah. yeah. She's from Romania. Oh, okay. So, we were just walking the dogs in the park and we saw her, you know, being fostered by another uh, person. Uh-huh. And we fell in love, like completely just uh, love at first sight. Mm. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, we, we need to adopt this dog. Yeah. Anong, ano siya? Anong breed? Uh, well... Uh, it's a it's like a Romanian street dog. Okay. The name is uh, the name of the breed is Coconi. Mm-hmm. So it's like a like a shorter dog, mm-hmm. like a low rider dog, but like a bit more hair. Mm. Okay. But like super super nice dog, like amazing temperament, super friendly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very happy. Nice. She's secretly my favorite. So. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell. Yeah, Don't, I, don't, I <laughs> hope Noodle and uh, Chickpea is now watching right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. So did they uh, fight a lot, these dogs? They don't really... No, they don't argue a lot. Um, uh, also, I mean, they, they do play a lot, mm-hmm. especially when they're outside. Yeah. Yeah. But when they're at home, they're kind of like doing their own thing. Cool. But um, yeah. But yeah. Tsaka sa inyo, I've been to their place. Mm-hmm. Uh, meron silang a uh, back garden, right? So yeah. Mm, dogs love there. that. Because yeah. we live in the semi-countryside. So mm-hmm. it's quite nice. Surrounded by woodlands and, yeah. and farms. So. Beautiful area. It's nice, yeah. Nice. All right. Next question, then. Harry, bro, do you love traveling? Uh, I mean, yeah. True. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Basically, me and my wife, we, we, go, we go away a lot. I mean... Yeah. Uh, apart it, from my apart from my parents, yung pinaka second na taong kilala kong mahilig mag-travel mm, is Harry. Oh, Kasi right. yeah. tell us like san mga places ka na nakapunta, bro. I mean, look, the thing is I I I'm not a I don't have a British passport, so I still mm. have a, a Filipino passport. Okay. So so me and my wife, we we would go to places where I don't need a visa. Mm. So we go to obscure places, <laughs> you know, we would Go to Africa. A, oh a bit. yeah, um, yeah. You know, the, Gambia, ba? Gambia. Pinto. Yeah, Gambia. We went to Gambia. I think last year. That was amazing. You yeah. know, um, uh, it, it's such a like like going back to time in a way. Mm-hmm. Gambia and surprisingly, the food is amazing as well mm-hmm. in Gambia. I think West Africa is pretty good. I have a Filipino passport as well, so. Baka yeah, I, I could recommend like next uh, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ano yung mga recommend mong places oh, yeah. for oh. like a uh, um, Filipino passport holder? Uh, look, uh, Teka we, lang, I'll list. <laughs> I would, we would, we go to Antigua a lot, which is a Caribbean country. Oh, yeah. all right. You'd be surprised, like uh, it's visa on arrival, so mm-hmm. you just nice. get there get and ticket. buy the visa. Okay. Yeah, so Antigua is beautiful. Yeah. Not as cheap because it's an, a Caribbean country, okay. but yeah. it's beautiful, like just beaches everywhere mm-hmm. and stuff. Um. Yeah, Africa is is I think it's quite underrated. Yeah, mm. like, yeah. We went to we went to Tanzania and Zanzibar as well. Mm-hmm. Zanzibar is beautiful. Like oh, wow. also like an, an island as well. Yeah. Bill Gates even has an island there. Ooh. Is it? It's called Bill Gates Island. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not that but, obvious, right? <laughs> no. So we were there. Like you, you can't even come close to the island, like because it's a private island. Yeah. You can just look at it, and it's just beautiful. But like. Yeah, we saw dolphins there. It's pretty cool. Imagine wow. being that rich, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Buying your own yeah, yeah, island. Yeah. <laughs> Naming the island from yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, just that. So Africa mostly Africa and the Caribbean. Recommend. Caribbean and yeah. Africa, I would recommend. Okay. Nice. Highly. Yeah. Kasi a lot of people here, especially yung mga nandito, mm. puro Europe eh. Yeah. Karamihan. Kasi nga, mm. di ba, malapit lang, mura. Mm. But like, Africa na a lot of people are exploring mm. it at the moment. That's mm. why it's underrated, probably. Yeah. Also, you can go, you can go there in winter time. Because mm. it, it's still gonna oh, be oh, hot. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. That's you know, true. So, it, it, like, for example, during winter. Winter dito, you mean? Yeah, winter here. Like, you could still go to Africa, for example. It's, it would still be warm. Mm-hmm. But like, it, uh, going to Europe right now, for example, it will be cold in Europe yes, as well. Yes, I yeah. mean, if you like hot countries, mm-hmm. I mean, it's that makes sense. 
Mas maganda yun. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Take note of that. <laughs> Alright, uh, can you share a fun fact about you? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the dreaded question. Uh, yeah, this, this question uh, is tough. I don't know. Um, um, I would say... I was because I'm I'm re- I don't really have a lot of like uh, fear or, mm-hmm. but I am scared of of rodents like mm. like the gut like yeah. even the smallest one the tiniest <laughs> one <laughs> doesn't matter like as long as it has a, a mousy face in a tail little <laughs> nose like that bro I'm gone <laughs> yeah like uh, are yeah. you one of the jumpy ones or your screamer. Uh, maybe both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I would get paranoid. Like it, it it's it's gonna be stuck in my head. Like for example, like f- for for the whole day, I'm yeah. gonna be thinking like, oh, there's there's something close to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially kung alam mo nandun, de ba? Yeah. you'll yeah, get yeah, paranoid. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, yeah. I think it started when I um, I don't know if you know the book Pied Piper, like a like a kid storybook. Yeah. Mm. Basically, this this Pied Piper went to this town and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. They, they had the rat problem. Yeah. And this storybook, what my my dad was reading to me when I was a kid, it it obviously has like photos of rats and yeah. stuff. So I think that stuck to my head. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was the origin. Yeah. So or bl- blame your parents. Yeah, parents, please be careful. Kung yeah. ano yung mga pinag kikwento pinagbabasa yeah. nyo sa mga anak ninyo. Do not trauma nyo yung mga. Exactly. No. It's traumatizing. It's always the the parents' fault. Exactly. Ano ba yun? Okay. If you are a food, what would you be and why? Wow. I'm tempted to say a Filipino dish, but like, I guess you have to be... No, I would say... Why not though? <laughs> um, yeah, I would say any dish that has a lot of layers. Because mm-hmm. I, I think, I think for, for me, uh, describing my life would be, um, I'm always changing. I'm like... Um, adapting to to you know to the situation and my environment so i think maybe a lasagna, lasagna. i don't even eat a lot of lasagna <laughs> but yeah but yeah, the layers so much yeah, layers. A few layers yeah. yeah maybe yeah maybe some eggplant on the you bottom layer a, not all, you could be an onion <laughs> i could be an onion yeah you have so much layers yeah. <laughs> A shallot. A shallot. You know, yeah. Much sweeter. Yeah. And if anyone hurts you, they'll cry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. you should yeah. be the you should be the guest. <laughs> well, I, I should be interviewing you guys. You guys are more interesting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you should be a sibuyas. Oh, right? uh, yeah, heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, if you will host a dinner party, what would be the theme and cuisine and why? Okay. Theme. Yeah. May mga tropa ka, marami ng tropa nang uh-huh. iisipin mm. mo, oh, anong team kaya ang gagawin ko? That's gonna be more the sickest, the funniest, memorable party ever. Wow. This one, I've never thought of this. Uh, okay. A theme would be, hmm, maybe an era. Like, I would say, I do like the 80s. Okay. Mm. So like a maybe 80s theme party. 80s theme party. Yeah, I, I do like that. So, so may mga attire sila ng mga pang 80s. Yeah, because um, I would say that 80s music, yeah, stuff 80s like music, that. Yeah, 80s music, vibes sila. Yeah. Anong mga music yung mga Bee Gees? Gano'n yung... <laughs> Look man, like... Uh, yung lahat ng 80s. Pop, pop 80s uh, yeah. stuff. Classic. Yeah. I like me some George Michael. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. That's good. Taga dito ba siya? Hindi. Yeah, he's British. But he, oh, he he's is. Greek origin, but, oh, okay. but he is British. But okay. yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yung mga ano, cuisine. Cuisine, ano, okay. Ano namin dyan. So, 80s <laughs> wow. team. Tapos Pati ano music. yung cuisine? Cuisine. Mm, something very different, I would say. I, w- I would say, I would say like a, like a West African mm. okay. theme food. Wow, wow. Yeah. Fugari. Yeah, like, like um, maybe a lot more fish. Um, mm. uh, maybe a bit pork, obviously, we're Filipinos. Yeah. We're going to yeah. be inviting Filipinos. Yeah. We need to feed them. Yeah. Pork. <laughs> they need to be happy. <laughs> yeah, a bit of rice, obviously. But yeah, something with African DJ spicy. Sa anong tot, sa party mo na to? I would I would have maybe a band. Okay. Mm. That would be cool. That would be better. That's, that's yeah. even cooler. Yeah. Live performance, no? Yeah, also like, because I know you guys now, so mm-hmm. I guess 
you could have a, like a freestyle yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. freestyle yeah. rap yeah. not necessarily a battle because that's a bit aggressive but yeah. uh yeah. 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 yeah bro like uh like impromptu stuff a little bit yeah so because i do like hip-hop as well because mm-hmm. yeah. We could do like a, a early '90s hip hop as well, oh, yeah. Yeah, like that yeah. kind of a Nas mm-hmm. kind of yeah, t- yeah. kind of vibe. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He knows right. Nas, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Because Illmatic is my favorite album of all time. You, okay. you oh. could you could sing the whole Illmatic album, and I'll yeah. be wow. Yeah. Vibing, New York State of Mind. Oh, I I I didn't expect that from you. Like you, you know didn't Nas, know that. Yeah. Ilma- no, no, huh? no. Because mm. normally when we hang out, mm. we always talk about like sports, mm-hmm. basketball. Because me and Harry share the same love when it comes to Golden State Warriors so mm. we are yeah. big SW supporters fans. of that okay. yeah. but I never knew that he's kind of like music taste mm. before this is the first time knowing it uh, like, I feel like because the thing is when, when you get older mm. like um, when you're like a teenager you you you, you know you find a group mm. and then if that group is punk if that group is is hip hop, you you kind of listen to just just hip hop or that's just punk. True, but when yeah. when you get older, you listen to everything. Yeah, that's suddenly true. the barriers are not there anymore. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. you don't limit yourself. You no. you kind of like broaden the mm. horizons. And There's less peer pressure. Oh, like I oh, can't listen to Taylor Swift mm-hmm. because my my mate would uh, make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Like some Taylor Swift songs, then but then you're, in, you're alone in your car. Mm. Not bad. Hindi ba kasi Tama ka pag yeah. yung mga tropa it's mo. It's a good point. Nakikinig no. lahat ng mga hip-hop. It's like, you kind of like force mm. yourself to, oh shit, I need to be in here. So yeah. at least I know what they're yeah. talking about when we're hanging out. Yeah. Ibang tawag doon peer pressure. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's true. Pero ngayon, it's like, fuck it. Like, mm-hmm. I can just play whatever I want. Bro, like, no one, yeah. It's a it's a less judgment when you're, when you're a yeah. bit older. It's it's funny though what you're saying now because at the moment I'm delving to a lot of like jazz like mm-hmm. 50s jazz. Oh wow! Um, like yeah yeah um like um. That's super interesting. Exactly. Uh, lately, because my daughter she's into like modern jazz mm. like Lebe something like that, and then I said to her, oh, pakinggan mo yung mga influence ng mga tao mm-hmm. pinapakinggan yeah, ngayon yeah, yeah. like 50s jazz are those are the ones that influence those mm. these people so so yun pinapakinggan ko lately it is amazing like uh, to get to know the the roots exactly. of, of these um, like and then you, you listen to R&B and like you listen to blues mm-hmm. and like the yeah, old exactly. R&Bs and blues I was like so, okay yun wow ang, yun ang back nila yung roots nila yeah like and then you listen to like I don't know Frank Ocean right now it's like yeah, yeah. oh shit like Frank Ocean actually like took a lot of um, influence, influence from, yeah. from a, the three previous days, yeah. I don't know D'Angelo and, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like oh shit like he kind of sounds like D'Angelo a little exactly. bit you know okay oh, and yeah, then yeah. D'Angelo is like further so mm-hmm. it's like yeah check check the roots man yeah yeah, yeah speaking of roots I know lately ko lang discover si Lauren Hill oh yeah uh, it's just a month ago Man, I'm crazy. I'm so for blown away. Oh my Are you God, joking? Miss Education of Lauren Hill. That's like a classic album. Ah, yeah. ilang beses ko na siyang pinapakinggan. Ulit ulit lang. Yeah. Is naga ano lang. Oh my days. That's like but, one of my I, favorite yeah, albums. Yeah, I only ever. know her from Fuji's. Fuji's. Oh, but I no, haven't no, listened to her. Sa Fuji's, that's what he di- what she did. Mm-hmm. That's a so yun ulit album. ulit lang ako Lauren Hill Miss Education. Yeah, oh. I, I I have a, the Miss Education in my car right now. Oh, I have the CD. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know, yeah, but yeah, ako nagarap hindi ko kailala si Lauren Hill That's as like, a solo. Yeah, one of the five. Sorry. Especially like she's like isa sa mga umpisa sa girl power. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay, sue me. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you definitely. <laughs> so oh. yeah, yo Lauren Hill lang ako lately. That's my obsession lately. Nice. All right. So bro, ma ano tayo sa mga medyo seryosong topic about yes. your business, mm. my ramen. Okay. So tell us what you do for a living and describe what is Pim my ramen. Right. So yeah, um I mean I I met you originally because uh I knew your, you know, your partner back in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh and um I I would bring food uh, yeah. to the workplace. Yeah. I w- I would cook all the time. It's always been my passion. So yeah. So you've always told me, and your your ex partner told me, like you know, dude, you need to do something about this. Exactly. You, you, I think there's something in it. Yeah. So, so yeah, I worked for you for a bit as well, selling yeah. t-shirts Ooh. and stuff. Yeah. So I I had, 
a bit of a, a feel of like market feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was your boss. <laughs> yeah. His, name, his boss. name on my phone is still Boss Ace. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Don't change that. Hey. <laughs> I, sh- I should change that. Uh, <laughs> it's no, Kuya Ace here. <laughs> because like, nung nagkakilala kami, yun nga sinasabi niya, he always brings food kahit mm-hmm. nasa work. So, sinasabi ng ex ko na, oh, si Harry nung galing magluto. Pati dahil, to, kasi yung work niya, malapit lang dito. Mm, yeah. Just few minutes. Mm-hmm. Tapos, he brings food and it's amazing and then even mm. when he was working with me we always like want to push him like bro shut up bro mm-hmm. do something do something for yeah. this why are you working for me do yeah. something for you. Mo to yeah something exactly like yeah. Mm. so yeah yeah i i did uh, i was thinking uh, i could do filipino food but mm-hmm. like it's it's there there is not much, not much people know about our cuisine That's it's not true. it's not well represented especially here i mean yeah. it's, it's getting a lot better now though yeah. but um so i thought like I just scoured the internet, see what's up. Mm-hmm. And then I, I saw this ramen burger, this guy, Keiji Shimamoto, mm-hmm. he's from New York, like a, a Japanese American. Okay. So he started the ramen burger in, okay. in Brooklyn, New York. And I was like, wow, this looks so interesting. So I just tried yeah. it. Like uh, I bought the ingredients, mm-hmm. tried to make it at home, mm-hmm. called my friends over, yo guys, like, like try this. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we had it and it was like light bulb moment. Yeah. You know, I know that sounds a bit cliche, but but I just had that thing. I, I first bite of that burger. I was like, yo, this this is something else. There's mm-hmm. something in this. Um, well, there's betchin, but uh, <laughs> yeah, MSG. <laughs> there's MSG, so there is something in there. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I applied to all the markets I could mm-hmm. find and the um, Greenwich market where I, I still mm-hmm. trade yeah. un- until now. Mm-hmm. But th- they said, come and give it a try. Mm-hmm. But una bro, uh, hindi ka muna sa Greenwich, di ba? Did you try it in Brick Lane? Oh yeah, I did try Brick Lane. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was a bit expensive, and uh, the competition was there's a lot of cheap food, mm. like uh, cheap low quality food yeah. around. So, like uh, a tourist would ne- would go to those cheap food mm. uh, and won't necessarily pick like a unique mm-hmm. um, dish. So I said maybe it's not for me. So, yeah. would... But eh, from there, because that time when you were still working, you said it was like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like, it's like, but it's not like you were still man. Yeah, look, I mean, the, the, first, the first day, um, my best friend Paul and I, he helped me. So we sold like 30 burgers, which is, uh, if you think about it, it's not a lot, but mm-hmm. like, like the first day and you not sold 30 items. Not bad for first day, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it, like my mind was blown. Yeah, I yeah. literally did not go to work yeah. the next day. Yeah. <laughs> I just I went AWOL. Um, yeah. I didn't I didn't give them any resignation letter. I was I just didn't turn up. Mm-hmm. So I that yeah, I was like that's it. I'm not working mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. So by, I, by the way, bro, sa mga taong hindi pa nakakakita ng ramen bar, uh, burger, pag i-explain sa kanila what it looks like. Ano ang ramen burger? Yeah, so imagine a like a normal burger, but instead of the bread, I have, I, I make um, like a noodle bun. Mm. So mm. made of ramen noodles, seasoned ramen, like shaped into a bun shape, mm-hmm. pan fried. And then, and then obviously you have a beef, pork, or a, a veggie that, that's in the middle, like a sandwich. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a... Um, it's definitely an experience. Na imagine ko na sa utak ko, na papataka mo ako sa. By the way, you're just describing it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But um, I would say it's it's kind of a, it's a bit polarizing mm-hmm. because um, it's either you you really love it or maybe maybe not you don't like it, but like maybe you won't have it again or you won't have it for a while because it's such a you know like a like a flavor bomb. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a unique concept as well. Because burger, diba American? Yeah, am I right? Or, mm. Yeah. Tapos ramen is a Japanese one. Yeah. And then we're here in the UK. Yeah. And we're Filipinos. You know? It diba? is. <laughs> so, it's really a fusion. Kaya naisip ko nung sinabi ni Kuya Ace na, ayan, mm. si Haring Igige. So, I went to your Instagram, yung Pimp My Ramen's Instagram. So, Okay, pina yung may ari. That's oh. so interesting. Mm. Ano yung yeah. first impression mo nun na sinabi Nakita ko yung, 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 ano? mo yung... Gusto kong itry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Kasi mahilig din akong mag ano, try it's ng mga more... kakaibang food. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's definitely will catch your attention. Yes. Kasi nga, 
hindi siya ano eh like hindi siya normal na typical yeah. food oh, oh, nga. you know mm. na nakikita mo mm-hmm. kahit na ngayon mm. matagal ka nang sabi mo 10 years ka na nag mm. uh, raramen pero is wala pa ring ibang hindi pa ring kalat no like um, and i don't think it will, it will spread ever mm. i think look even for me I, i'm i'm i will probably not expand yeah, like yeah. Uh, that's my place mm-hmm. that's good enough for me yeah and um the only thing is uh obviously it's so unique mm-hmm. that some people don't take you seriously in a way yeah. like uh, they would think obviously with the with the social media and Instagram boom mm-hmm. there's a lot of stunt burgers you know around yeah. like they look ama- they look like stacked and amazing yeah. but yeah. they probably won't necessarily taste good <laughs> they're just like a, a stunt yeah mm-hmm. how would but, you even eat that <laughs> yeah so a lot of people think of my burger as a stunt burger okay. oh yeah. he, this guy's just doing it for mm-hmm. as a gimmick it's like oh it's so quirky because mm-hmm. it because of that, it's yeah. so quirky. It's not they don't take it kind of serious. Yeah, that is not like a proper food or something. Is that hundred percent. I mean? Yeah, but like, look, it, just try it. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, I think um, it would it would uh, blow your mind. Definitely. I would say. Yeah, I think yeah, it's good to encourage people to try it, guys. If you yeah. haven't checked a ramen burger yet, go to Greenwich and check Pim My Ramen out. We'll definitely go there. Oh, yeah. balik tayo Me sa and my pala. friends. <laughs> Yung sa early life. Yeah, right. Mga, uh, so yeah, paano ka, tell us about your childhood. Paano ka napunta dito? Where did you grow up? Right, yeah. Um, my, my my childhood is quite a typical Filipino childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, cons- you know, um, I grew up in a small town mm-hmm. up north. It's called uh, Rojas Isabela, my town. Isabela, okay. Yeah, pretty good, small town. Uh, everyone knows each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, as I, I was, as I was saying, um, typical abroad like my my mom worked abroad in Saudi Arabia she was a nurse okay mm-hmm. she was there for a while so I kind of grew up with my dad and also my aunties uncles and grandparents and stuff so mm-hmm. as and I was the only child okay so that kind of made me quite independent from a young age mm-hmm. so yeah like like your story as well yeah. you, you kind of like like on the streets a lot yeah you know I mean we're not poor I don't know if you yeah. but you know but Still, you're out there exploring. Yeah. Yeah. Just being independent. But I have lots of cousins. As you know, we're Filipinos. Of course, yeah. Malapit so, familia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kahit nga kapit bahay, you call them your cousins, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> you're not even blood related close, at close. all. We do like yeah. making babies. So it's, uh, Uso kasi yung walang power dati, lagi <laughs> nagbabra. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, ano, uh, what age did you come in here? Uh, so yeah, I, I finished university. Um, so I did nursing as, oh, as like okay. everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's, it's not really something that I want to do. Yeah, true. But obviously when you go to university, like quite a young age, um, you don't really want to know. You don't really know what you want to do. Yeah. You're yeah. like, okay, you're just following everyone else. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, everyone's doing nursing. Oh, it's a lot of good-looking people in nursing, <laughs> so I might just go there and break some hearts. That's true. You know. um, yeah, so I did that. So and then I I applied to go to the UK mm-hmm. as a student. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day, that's the only way you can you can yeah, kind of before yeah, yeah. get in the- It was tough, but and then I got here when I was twenty-one. Mm-hmm. I, I came here with my cousin and my best friend Paul. So we we struggled for a bit, mm-hmm. like. Yeah, especially me because uh, I I didn't really get any healthcare job mm. until until the l- latter part. Mm. But so I would just do mm. I would waiter, I wait I, I would deliver newspaper mm. and stuff. Oh, jobs, yeah. Yeah, like, but I loved all of them for some reason. Mm. Yeah. Like um, I even clean toilets. Oh. Yeah. But uh, even clean toilets, I I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah. That's weirdly. <laughs> yun uh, yun nga yung kwento sa akin dati ni Paul cause um like that's your best friend, right? Mm. And then we used to live together and mm. see si, ang cousin mo si Ar- Aris. Aris is my cousin, mo. yeah. Yeah, I I remember when he's saying that you guys are like living in a small room, Very small stuff room. like that. Is yeah. it on a Morden or something? Yeah, somewhere in Morden, so a small room as big as this living room mm-hmm. with five people. Oh. And uh, I, I would I would sleep behind the door with an air mattress. So when whenever somebody wants to go out of the the bedroom, yeah, uh, yeah I, oh. they need to wake me up. 
That's and right. my my air mattress would would deflate <laughs> by the morning. <laughs> So I would wake up early anyway because uh, there's no air in my, my mattress. So, um, yeah. So it was like that for a few months. And then we, we had to move away and like kind of uh, rent our own room. There's the three of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, that, that was that was tough. But like, uh, look, yeah. when, when you're 21 and you're in a different foreign country, like, man, the, the first time I went inside the Sainsbury's, I thought it was Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we bought this uh, fruit tart mm -hmm. from the bakery section yeah. and we had it. Well, and we were mm. like blown away. This is the best thing we've ever eaten. Yeah. Yun nga yung sa mga taong hindi nakakaintindi ng ganun. Because, especially Philippines, third mm -hmm. world country, sanay tayo sa hirap eh. Mm. Totoo. So, Pagtapos pagmunta tayo sa ibang bansa, lahat is like, you know, it opens your mm. eyes. Mm. Lahat is like maganda, improved, parang iba, wala mm. sa Pinas nito, gano'n. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, pero sa kanila dito, it's normal like, nila yun. Normal yun, oh. pero sa atin is like, wow. Yeah. So kaya yung mga, pag sinabi na lang dito, mahirap sila, sometimes it's like, I take it with a pinch of salt. It's yeah, like, you guys can never yeah. experience hardship. Yeah. Mahirap you know I mean? sila. Yeah. yeah no, para. Well, I, I think it's such a, a big advantage for us and for other that's um, true as well yeah for other immigrants as well mm -hmm. that has come to a third world country mm -hmm. or a much more difficult situation mm -hmm. like it, it's it's a superpower yeah We're, like I feel like um, you know it's something that we do harness I do anyway yeah um, but yeah it's great mm -hmm. interesting yung sinabi mong yun no, na you know you, you, you take it as a superpower mm -hmm. for us Mm. Which is, I think, a lot of people should do mm. because a lot of people will complain about hardship and, mm. you know, how they're victims and stuff like that. Yeah. But instead of saying, I'm a victim, mm -hmm. I'm poor, I'm this, I can't do this, mm. you took it and harness it to become who you are right now. Yeah, it, it, just, it just makes you more resilient, That's true, to be yeah. honest. And um, yeah, resiliency, I think, is a, it's a really good thing to have. Yeah. Because you, you you will encounter a lot of problems and it would never really stop. Yeah. So you, you better amazing. have a, you know, strong skin. That's, That's true. it. That's a good advice, bro. So yeah, I did I did that and then started the business. Yeah, and the rest is history. Okay, so uh, coming back to the uh, pimp my ramen, um, gaano kahirap na mag business dito sa UK and palago inyon. Right. Um, I, f I feel like uh, the, the, one of the big advantages mm -hmm. of um, UK specifically compared to other countries, I feel, I don't know about uh, America, mm -hmm. but I feel like uh, it, it is, especially London, I think it's a city of opportunity. Yeah, it's true, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of, even Europeans, they, you know, Italian, Spanish, mm -hmm. Portuguese, they, they come here to, you know, I don't know, try their luck. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, there is a lot of opportunities. You just have to find them. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, you have to be re resilient. And um, and also, like, whatever you would start, you have to be passionate mm -hmm. about yes, that yeah. specific thing that Passion you're, you're, you're going to start with. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. a lot of people, okay, yeah, they, they see other people doing good and they want to do that exact exactly. same thing. <laughs> Ginaya yeah. na lang. <laughs> yeah. Pero wala silang passion for that. Um, field or for sure you know what I mean they just see that it's successful and mm -hmm. they they want to yeah. be involved in it so I mean like nowadays uh, you know I, I think consumers mm -hmm. are so clever yeah. I think they're get, they're getting more clever you know um, they're, they're just it's uh, they know what they're doing especially yeah. with the economy obviously they're a bit slightly tighter with their money mm -hmm. so um to, for them to be able to let go of that money, it has to be it has to be worth it. Something for them. worth it, yeah. So they do know if your in your heart is into it, into your business mm -hmm. or not. Exactly. Like they can tell. Um, but yeah, it's look as long as you're passionate with whatever you you want to start with, and you already have kind of a, the skill set required mm -hmm. to start that specific business. I think the opportunity here is is amazing. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's it's endless if you know what you're doing. And like Harry said, kailangan nyo lang talaga ng passion at saka pagmamahal sa ginagawa nyo. Mm -hmm. Also, I would add, um, I think you have to be willing to accept uh, that you can make mistakes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are not, uh, you know, 
are not very good at accepting mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, also, on top of that, because you can accept mistakes, I think when you start a business, um, you you need to be able to to adapt and change mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to your environment. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Because I, I could, because uh, my business now, I don't just sell ramen burgers. Mm-hmm. I sell bao and Taiwanese fried mm-hmm. chicken and mm-hmm. chips. You know, you have to adjust. You have to, yeah, you have to observe your environment. Because if if I just stuck with with ramen burger and then that's it, you will plummet. My business die. would have yeah. not worked. Yeah. Um, so you you have to adapt. You see, you know, just just see what uh, what what people want mm-hmm. and you have to give that as well exactly yeah. it's similar to my business it's like I do clothing if uh, um, you guys don't know um, when it comes to seasons as well I do change mm-hmm. so before I just before kung nag lang ako sa puro t-shirt lang I'm not gonna survive because mm. like especially in UK it changes so then I incorporated beanie hats hats bags and stuff like that, you're also able to evolve. Yung tulad nga nasabi mo na dapat tingnan mo yung current situation. And sometimes I also look at what's trendy. Mm. Mm, when yeah. it comes to like, obviously, sa passion is like, colors are important, you know what I mean? So those are the things that you should look out for. I mean, for you, for food, you also have to be aware kung ano yung mga gusto ng tao or what complements yeah. your other foods as well that yeah. you sell, di ba? Because, yeah, that's the thing. Um, people's behavior, they, they change. Mm. They're, they're, I mean, it, trends are trends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it applies to everything. Interior design, food, clothing. Yeah. There, there will be trends. There will be exactly. up and downs. Um, yeah. So you All just right. need right. to be willing to, you know, adapt. Yeah. Yon. Yeah. That's how you, uh, it's all about longevity at the end of the day. Diba? Yeah. And the, your business represents you mm. as a, as as the owner. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah, I mean. Marami akong nakikita na mga very strict sila at saka very old school approach yung pagdating sa business nila, which is, yung mga iba hindi nagtatagal, tulad mm. yung sabi mo, because they like, no, this pie have to be classic or something. Yeah. Yeah. There shouldn't be no mint there. Just uh-huh. for example, yeah. halimbawa, halimbawa, you know, or ngayon, tulad ngayon sa Greenwich, napapansin ko maraming boba tea na lumalabas. So many, yeah. Like, iba-ibang stall. Yes. Before, <laughs> before Greenwich, you, you wouldn't find boba mm. or like, you know I mean? Because I think they're adapting as well. They see a lot of like immigrants mm-hmm. and Chinese Asian people are flocking Greenwich right Especially now. Especially students. Yes, yeah, students. Yeah. So now they're trying to cater for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I mean? They're seeing the environment, what's yeah. changing. So they need, you need to be adaptable like you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Adaptable, yeah. Um, may naalala lang ako you know Kodak, yung kumpanyang mm-hmm. Kodak. Yeah. So, na ano ka lang, napanood ko lang. Wala na sila ngayon because mm, they yeah. they stuck to the film yeah. cameras. Yeah. But, meron pala sila, sila pala yung mas nauna pa na gumawa ng di- digital camera. Oh, they just that. didn't pursue that. Exactly. Oh. Kasi yung ano, mga the higher ups ng company, they just wanted to, uh, well, stick to the film, mm. this uh, digital trend wouldn't um, boom. Yeah. But you see now, Wala na, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen that documentary before. It's yeah. also similar to what Nikon or Canon was doing before when it comes to the cameras. Yeah. Because before they they didn't want to go to the mirrorless. Mm. They only want to stick to the DSLR. Mm-hmm. Right. So eh ngayon tulad ng mga gamit natin ngayon Sony, these are like mirrorless Amazing. camera. You Very compact. I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's where the trend is going right now. Mm. So yung mga companies na hindi um went to that trend they're, they're left behind yeah, yeah they're exactly left behind dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah speaking of trend um, how does social media affect your uh, business pros and cons maybe right yeah I mean look uh, the, my my problem is personally is uh, I, I don't like social media <laughs> wait, uh, wait. <laughs> but yeah. it does but uh, if you have a business, you need to be in I social media. You have media. to. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to. Yeah. But I'm, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the driving force in a way, you know. Totoo, to, to, lalo sure, to drive business uh-huh. in your... I, like, if you know somebody that could do my social media, I'll pay them. <laughs> Are but, you hiring? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I think social media is amazing for, for that. For, mm. you know, for advertising, mm-hmm. especially food. But, but yeah, 
Um, especially my product is very, very, you know, Instagramable. Yes, you know. it is. Yeah. But yeah. if you look at my Instagram, <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't opened my Instagram in like maybe a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's anyway. I I will be better. But uh, yeah. look, uh, yeah, I love I love social media for business. Mm -hmm. um, I think exposure. Everyone's on on mm -hmm. there right now. Lalo if um there's a food concept na magti trend sa let's say mm. TikTok. Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. will be flocking. It diba? could change your business. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marami na ngayon mga influencers them food influencers that mm. oh I went to this place I tried yeah. this and then suddenly people watch that oh we also want to try that that looks amazing that's yeah. different <laughs> let's go. I just I just find influencers really annoying. <laughs> I was right. about to ask yeah. what if someone. Yeah. Kunwari ako, para hindi na lang tayo mag-name ng mga names. Example, I am a food influencer. Tapos sabi ko, Harry. Are you actually? No, no, I'm not. Right, thank God. <laughs> uh, I was gonna stab you in the neck. But, uh, <laughs> Pwede okay. bang, ano, can you give me free samples? I will advertise my, uh, your um, business I've, to my page. I've had, I've had a few of these. You've had this? Oh, in, okay. In my store, like, right. they would come and like, yo. Show you my followers are. Yeah, uh, yeah give me some free food and like. Yeah. <laughs> Man, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, man. <laughs> Go away. Like, no, I, I think I'm not normally stubborn, but like, in that way, I'm I'm a bit stubborn. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. but yeah, but there's definitely something there. Though. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you're gonna start a business, I think you should do the opposite of what I'm doing. You should you you should really embrace social media mm -hmm. and milk that. Yeah. How about mga Criticism, alam natin sa business, hindi natin may iwasan yan, di ba? Mm. Have you received any criticism apart from what you said before na sinasabi mo, people don't take your food seriously? Mm. Ano pa yung mga ibang criticism na natatanggap mo when it comes to Pimp My Ramen? Um, look, the thing is, uh, because my food is, is kind of handmade, mm -hmm. you know, it's... Uh, Consistency can be a problem with anything handmade. True. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not gonna be, you uniform. know, uniform. Yeah, exactly. If you go to McDonald's, like, I guess they're all kind of the same. The burger you're gonna yeah. get in McDonald's is the same as the other McDonald's. But mine is handmade, so sometimes uh, it, there's inconsistency sometimes, mm -hmm. which is, I guess, that's part of the deal. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's that. Also. My food is not it's, it's slightly messy to eat, especially mm. the Filipino pork. Yeah, because mm. uh, I do like a like a braised pork, and it's, it can be a bit saucy, mm. which which is part of the the appeal of it. Yeah. But also, it, it can be messy mm -hmm. when it's a street food. You're walking around eating a burger that is kind of messy but yeah. delicious. So <laughs> people complain about the messiness. Yeah. So um, yeah. And also the waiting time sometimes because it gets busy in the weekends yeah. and people queue up. Mm -hmm. And we do try our best to be as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. We are very quick, but still, when there's a lot of people, there's not much you can do. Yeah, it can't please everyone, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else? Um, no, that's it really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, messiness and the inconsistency in shape. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, some, the exactly. The waiting time is... Uh, Sometimes the seasoning is slightly, slightly oh off. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm feeling a bit uh, generous that day. <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah. the with the MSG yeah, maybe slightly more MSG today you know maybe I didn't sleep well so I was like maybe a bit dizzy but Ikaw yeah ba lahat yung mga nag shape yeah, yeah. Mga, yeah. Wow. so that's one of the reasons why uh, expanding the business is not as easy or mm -hmm. that's why I don't really have a lot of competitors or any really mm -hmm. because uh, it is very difficult to make mm -hmm. yeah. imagine a, a burger place that makes that bakes their own bread Mm. So like no one does that. Everyone buys their own bread. Yeah, true. Yeah. So for me, I'm a burger business that makes my own bread mm -hmm. yeah. in a way. Yeah. The ramen. <laughs> that's that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, it, ikaw lahat lagi nagluluto nung. Uh, well, or like, you have other people doing that for you. Um, yeah, because I've done I've done the actual like standing in the store for yeah. for so long that okay. uh, for me I've I've stepped back from that a little mm -hmm. bit now so I do have um, I'm very lucky I have uh, I have Jonas which is my guy he's mm -hmm. been with me shout out bro uh, <laughs> uh, strong climber yeah, as well uh, <laughs> shout out Yo Nasty Yo Nasty that's, uh, that's his uh, <laughs> his nickname but, uh, but yeah so 
He's been working for me since he was 16. Now he's maybe 23. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so he's my he's my guy. Mm-hmm. So he, he manages the business in a yeah. way for me. And then I have a I have a, a girl with me as well that's working with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Her name's Sonam. She's amazing as well. So I'm very lucky with my staff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect but, yeah. to those guys. Amazing hard workers. Sempre mm-hmm. nakikita ko rin sila sa Greenwich. Yeah. Especially Jonas. Like sabi mo, matagal na siya, no? Diba, yeah. dati bata pa lang siya. Yeah. He's already with you. Proper Tap- grooming. <laughs> yeah. Child labor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, tsaka dati, pag wala ka, tol, pag nag-holiday ka, siya yung nagdadrive ng sakyan mo. Diba? Yeah. Ay, siya yung nag- she, he would take, care, everything. Took, take over the business. Amazing. Yeah. It's really your guide. And yeah. Very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Yun nga, sa stall pala, tol, ay yung mga difficult customers, mm-hmm. how do you deal with them? Uh, may mga experience the currents do you have a current experience <laughs> mga currents <laughs> mga marites mga marites maybe not current but like uh, people would come and say oh do you have normal bread and um, I would excuse just, me <laughs> what yeah so <laughs> can't you read the sign take a look I know <laughs> what <laughs> so like I, I would just I would just tell them there's some McDonald's close by, so I would say there's some McDonald's. You yeah. could just go there. Yeah, refer yeah. na lang. No? Yeah, and don't ever show your face here ever. <laughs> yeah. you know? Exactly. Oh my goodness, like, uh, like really? It's, it's, a, it's a really busy service. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, you, have to, you have to think, it's not, a, it's not like a restaurant that you sit down and mm-hmm. everyone's nice to you. Here's oh, yeah. a fast pace. Yeah, exactly. So like we're under a lot of stress. Yeah. It's big queue. On the grill, really hot. So sometimes I can be a bit grumpy, which don't be yeah. grumpy when you're <laughs> dealing with customers. But like I would tell them, you know, some if it's a fair question, like fine. But like if they're just being difficult, yeah. like uh, I would, um, I would tell them, I'm sorry, I I, I cannot serve you. Yeah. And there's other stalls around. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That Ganun sense. na lang, no? Yeah. yeah. Other than you, you ruining your own day. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's it's good to be polite to everyone. Yeah. yeah that's because true. Um, yeah. It, it, you want you want to be nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, di ba dito sa London, ang daming iba't ibang culture, ganyan. Mm. Uh, and I know a lot of um, vegetarian vegans as well. Mm. So, my next question is, how do you approach creating a menu na that would cater to different dietary uh, restrictions, preferences? Yeah. Um, I, I think it's very important. Mm-hmm. Look, I love yeah, I true. love meat. I'm a Filipino. I love <laughs> I I could eat pork every day. But um, look now. I appreciate vegetarian food as well. I mm-hmm. think I think there's something there. I think you could be very creative with mm-hmm. it, and you have to be creative because yeah. you know it's ingredients that. I feel like meat is a cheat code. You know, it's like True. it will be delicious because <laughs> it's meat. It's already yeah. meat. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I do uh, I do try develop uh, recipes that 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 is really good as well. Actually, mm-hmm. my my favorite because I do sell bao as well. My mm-hmm. favorite would be a tofu bao. Yeah, tofu I love my bao. tofu bao. Yeah. And for the burger, I, I do love, I have um, spinach and quinoa, mm-hmm. like uh, like patty. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Like, yun yung ino-order ko lagi, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yung spin- so, ang ginagawa ko, kasi misa wala ka doon, no? mm-hmm. so yung ino-order ko sa kanila, yung patty nila, pero kinukuha ko yung bao. Mm-hmm. So, bao, tapos yung yeah, it's patty, nice. yeah. instead of the ramen, mm-hmm. tapos yung egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, the thing is with, the, with vegetarian, like, uh, I guess... You have to add a lot more texture as well mm. because um, obviously it's it's harder to to make uh, a veggie dish that would be as satisfying That's as true. a meat dish. Yeah. So you have to play with with other things, not just taste. So you you have to add in a lot more like texture, you know, consistency and stuff. Mm. So yeah, I think I think those things are important, mm-hmm. not just the flavor. So so mm. um, the burger side, you mentioned. Um, and again, spinach. Patty. Yeah. That's your uh, vegetarian option. Yeah. Okay. Spinach, uh, pumpkin, mm-hmm. and uh, coated with like okay. quinoa. So it's a bit slightly crunchy outside. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. With the, You've tried that? The, yeah. yeah, that's that's one of my go to. Oh, okay. Sa bao naman. Yeah, I have the same. tofu. And, oh, tofu, okay. Yeah, and also have the same one, the mm. quinoa uh, uh, patty. In the bow as well. Mm. So yeah, sa mga vegetarian vegan dyan, yeah. you have options, options when you go to Pimp My Ramen. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so, ano naman, dito sa London, um, na-notice ko, they have a, like, what do you call that? Nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng company na yun, but they were posting a uh, food safety, like, rating. Mm. 
So, yun nga, one to five, ganun, di ba? Yeah. May ano ka. Uh, scores, on the, scores on the doors. Yes, that one. Okay. Uh, so, how do you make sure that health and safety standards mm. na, ng food mo is always on top? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's just like any investment. So, mm. uh, it, it's, it's your livelihood. Mm. So, you would do er- anything to, if something happens, like an, even an allergy That's true, uh, yeah. situation, mm-hmm. which is actually more common, I think, than, but yeah. So, if something happens, if your business gets in trouble, like that's your livelihood. So, uh, you do everything just to protect that livelihood. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, I make sure everything's on, um, mm-hmm. on point. Inspe- the, the government does really well with that. So, yeah. they, ins- they do an inspection. Mm-hmm. So, that's the scores on the doors. I have, I have five Five uh, five star. So if you yes. go there, <laughs> five stars. Yeah. Requirement yeah. yun bro. Yes, sa lahat ng mga food I mean, stalls. Um, it's it depends on the market, like but almost every market would yeah. require to have it. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, you have to be on top of your documentation. As you know, in the mm-hmm. UK, they're kind of obsessed with anything. Everything has to be documented. Yes, yes. strict. Mas strict sila dito, yeah. diba? So temperature checks mm-hmm. all the time mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. So how yeah. often do they check or come to to check those? Um, for the scores on the doors, um, I think that's every three years. Okay. But the market themselves, they check they check you every single day. Mm. So they would check your documentation, your temperature checks, how 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 tidy or clean your stall is. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Is, is everything in in order? Yeah. So the market themselves, they do that every single day. I see. So yeah. That makes sense. It's good. Yung naman tol sa, di ba sabi namin kanina yung um, you put Filipino twist sa menu mo. Mm. Ano yung mga twist na ginagawa mo? Ano yung mga, how do you incorporate the Filipino flavors in your burgers? Right. Or in your food? Um, yeah, I would say, I would say with, with my Filipino pork specifically is, because um, I, I love... Um, uh, like shopa wasado. Oh. oh my god! Yes. Like, yeah, like since, you know, you, uh, like uh, shopa wasado. The feeling of shopa wasado is very unique. I would say yeah. you you yeah. don't really get that in a like a rice dish or yeah. anything. It's just like you have to get a shopa. Yeah. So yeah, it's like a like an adobo, but like slightly sweeter. Um. So yeah, that that was my inspiration, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. So that's the Filipino pork, and also. Uh, I feel like um, with flavors, I'm a bit more bold. Yeah. Like, I'm a bit more risky. You know, yeah. I, my my wife would say, because uh, I cook a lot at home. Every every day, I'm the cook at home. And <laughs> and she, she doesn't like salty food. <laughs> oh. But like, <laughs> I, I, I call it well seasoned. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, I'm a bit more like, um, I rather the food maybe on the brink of being salty than bland, <laughs> let's just say. Mm-hmm. And I, I think I got that from, from being a Filipino. That's true, yeah. <laughs> like, a lot of Filipino dishes, like, it kind of, like, hits you in the oh, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, like, mild, yeah. laid it's back. Nothing, yeah. It's all, like, kind of slightly sickly after a while. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I think that's that's the Filipino yeah. side of things for me. Yeah, ano yung, di ba may adobo uh, braise ka ba? Or that's the one. The, so, the, the one Filipino pork. Okay. So, it's more of, like, um, because I also love, uh, Chinese food, mm-hmm. so there's a incorporation of Chinese influence there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nagkita ko rin uh, lately, mayroong kang popcorn, parang teriyaki. Oh yeah. Is it teriyaki Could, or something? No, so I I do love Taiwanese food. Oh yeah. I, Taiwanese I, I popcorn, would want to yeah. go to Taiwan at some mm-hmm. point to do like just street food travel. Mm-hmm. My wife and I are just thinking about it, but but yeah. So um, a bao is is basically it's Taiwanese. Mm-hmm. So. I love that. So, and then I, I thought, because I love fried chicken. If mm-hmm. I, fried chicken would be my, if I could pick one food, that's comfort food, which fried chicken and rice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I thought maybe I could link that up with the Taiwanese guabao. So, and Taiwanese food right now it is in. Nice. Like, uh, I mean, boba tea is Taiwanese. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of like, like influence of Taiwan right now getting into the, you know, to the Western yeah. scene. So I thought Taiwanese fried chicken. So basically, it, and also this is uh, popcorn chicken. So it's like a smaller bite-sized mm-hmm. pieces yeah. of chicken. 
Because if you're in a street food situation, you don't want to really be walking around with a drumstick. The big drumstick. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have those little bites, nibbles. Yeah, yeah. you have a stick. You just like, yes. get, you know, it's a bit more... Me yeah. sauce, yeah, ganon, me, me sauce. No, uh, so a Taiwanese fried chicken would be uh, coated with a potato starch normally. Mm-hmm. And then uh, with the seasoning powder. So that's, I think that's the some, something that's uh, different from all the other mm-hmm. fried chickens. It's okay. um, seasoning powder. So okay. that's sauce. Nice. So so you have that. Mm-hmm. So it's either Cajun. There's a classic, which is a ch- Chinese five spice. And, uh, and a seaweed, seaweed uh, seasoning as well. So yeah, oh. mm-hmm. that's um, that's doing really well right now. Yeah. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So uh, what was your... What is your best seller at the moment? Right. So... The good thing about diversifying, mm-hmm. I think I think if you're going to start a business, I think uh, diversifying is great. Because yeah. um, same, with, same with investing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so not, not every day is going to be the same. It's hard to predict. So I would have a, a burger, a main course. Mm-hmm. I, f- I would have a bao, which is the mid, mid-level. And I would have a popcorn chicken, which is kind of like a, a snack. Mm-hmm. So if the day is a bit slow... My popcorn chicken would be popular. Mm. The other wouldn't be as okay. much. You know, like uh, it's diversified. But the bow, I would say, is is the one that's the best seller right now. The bow. Yeah. Oh, okay. And does it change uh, by season? Your mga best seller mo? Yeah, it it changed by week. Is by it? You know, by so, week. Hindi siya talagang ano no? Yeah. Set in stone. So like, this week it could be it could be a ramen burger day mm-hmm. yeah. a week. It could wow. be a popcorn chicken week. So, but because I have diversity, like same with your your business, yeah. you could sell like more jumpers today. Uh, Next week, it could be a t-shirt day. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, it could be a beanie day, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So, if you're gonna start a business, uh, I would suggest, you know, have a staple, have yeah. a identity product like mine is a ramen burger, but also add in bits and pieces that are kind of connected to it, mm-hmm. that would give you a bit more of a diversity and kind of like like a cushion mm-hmm. if if your main product doesn't doesn't work on that specific day you have other things exactly but I think it, it also complements the the main staple food but it has I would say it has to complement the others yeah because a lot of people otherwise it's just a, yeah. something that is there you know what I mean it's yeah like off. no you don't want to be lame yeah, yeah. That, that's the one thing that I hate uh, I don't I, <laughs> I hate lameness. Like, uh, dude, like have some creativity. Kind of like, um, yeah, just think about it. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like for example, you have a ramen burger, and suddenly you have a like a pierogi polish or something. It, it it doesn't make sense. Like, why are you selling that? Like, Bro, you'd be surprised how <laughs> how dumb people are. Yeah. I'm I'm telling you, it doesn't even complement the other food that you yeah. have. It's like there, there, there's a there's a stall kind of near Greenwich Market. It's uh, yeah. I, I'm not sure if they they copied me, but like their their business is uh, like a burger and a bow. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So uh, like a bread burger, like an American burger, and a, a Taiwanese bow. Like, bro, like <laughs> pick, okay. pick a side. Yeah, 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 anyway. exactly. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah. Have you, um, do you have any recognitions na natanggap na nitong Pimp My Ramen before? Awards? Maybe? Uh, I, I don't think so. No, I mean, um, no, I, I, have, I haven't, I'm not interested mm-hmm. in it anyway. Yeah, but if somebody gives me recognition, that's that's great. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, I'm, I'm just, like, as I said to you, we, we've come from the Philippines, you know. Yeah. I'm just super happy, super yeah. stoked that I'm in this situation. Yeah. Bro, like, um, uh, I work very little. I have so much time. I don't make a lot of money, but... Mm. I'm just grateful to have a business. Yeah, like, sure. uh, actually, yeah, I'm super proud about that. And yeah. that's the recognition yeah. I need, really. I, think. I, I can't stress that enough. A lot of people um, say, pag nasa, nasa UK ka, they always say, oh, you have to make as much money as you can mm-hmm. para pag umuwi ka. Pero sa akin at saka sa'yo, it's like, I think we have the same kind of like mentality mm. when it comes to money. Because yeah. for me, it's like, Obviously, money is important, but that's like not my main objective. Mm. 
it's like I, I really want to enjoy my time. Yeah, for you, 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 know what I mean? you love creating. Yeah, I love creating. So, I love being in nature. I love exactly. going out, spending time with my daughter. That's the main thing yeah. for me rather than like, okay, I'm going to be 24-7 at mm. work and be a slave to the system. I don't like yeah. that. Look, the thing is, for me, uh, when we first came here, in even in the Philippines, you know, you see a lot. You have to, you, you see, you have to learn from the generations before you. That's mm-hmm. true, yeah. And the advantage of us is there is a lot of generations before us that went abroad and worked themselves to death mm-hmm. just to send money uh, to the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, that changed a lot of lives. But what I'm saying is, uh, I, I've seen these people like. Even here, when I came here, I see a lot of like old people, like uh, like still cleaning. Uh, there's nothing wrong about cleaning houses. The mm-hmm. cleaning houses, like they're really old, but like they're still really working hard just just to just to send home to their grandkids, kids. Yeah, they're basically supporting the whole village. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And um, yeah, I I don't want that. Yeah, but also this is speaking. On my situation, yeah, you know, your perspective. Every yeah. situation is different. That's true. Yeah, like your situation could be very different from mine. Mm-hmm. I, look, I'm very lucky. My my family didn't need that much help. Mm-hmm. So, but other families could, could be, need yeah. a lot of help. So, I'm not saying that mm-hmm. there's right and wrong, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. how you should do it. But um, I feel that you should you should be aware of it at least. Yeah, I yeah. think para style in that way. I mean, kami hindi kami sinilang na like mayaman. Like actually mahirap yung mga parents ko pero nung pagpunta nila dito, tas nung dinala nila ako dito, never silang naghingi ng pera. Mm. So it's like hindi ko kailangan na magpadala o mag-send exactly. sa sa Pilipinas na hindi ako in debt or wala akong di ba sa atin ano kasi yung utang na loob is utang like, na loob um, yes like dinala kita sa ano ganyan so you now you have to like send me stuff that's true. sa akin wala yun eh so, i never felt that that's the thing it it goes back to how you were you and i were raised yeah i think so as like well. you're it's would, a factor big factor 100% and i w- i would compare myself to your, to my parents to yours because mm. my parents are exactly the same yeah. you know look i raised you but you don't owe me yeah mm-hmm. yeah exactly but, but never look a, la- a lot of Parents, Filipino parents are like, okay, yeah, I You're raised you and yeah, you, you kind of owe me a little bit, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, one of the toxic Filipino cultures, yan, yeah. yung utang na loob. Yeah. Sure, La, yeah. Na parang, ah, wala ka dito kung wala ako, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. we should cut that. No. <laughs> I think pwede tayong gumawa ng isang segment na sa podcast next time na talk about like toxic yeah. Filipino trait. That yeah, why be. not? Man, that, that, okay, that I, could I be have a whole list. lot of po- That's a lot of podcasts. I could make <laughs> An essay. Uh, <laughs> man, look, like one of the one of my my thing is like, you know, I was just saying, you know, th- there's a lot of uh, Filipinos that work until they're like quite old, supporting their, their whole yep. family. Exactly. I have aunts, and uncles like that. Exactly, and also the thing is like those people that are uh, receiving all of this support from the Philippines sometimes mm-hmm. because they know that something is coming, mm-hmm. they're not exactly. gonna strive. Exactly. They're like they're they're not they don't they're not studying well. Yeah. They're just like ah, oh, ma- something's coming anyway. Yeah. Like they have like three kids from different wives. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if they're married, but uh, <laughs> you know how it is. But uh, bro, like they're spoiled. They know their exactly. grandmother is gonna uh, send them money mm-hmm. next month. So exactly. they're just gonna drink and hang out. Yeah, in that's can, canto boy. Exactly. True. That's why as a um, OFW, kailangan then it's very important that you set boundaries. Yes. Yeah. That's Definitely what I limit. did like last year lang yata. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was so stressed out, talaga sa mm. life before uh, no mga unang taon ko dito, one two years yeah. yun. So sabi ko, uh, my mental health is not um, at its peak. Ang baba na talaga like oh, I'm going ang pangit yeah, yeah, ng term yeah, yeah. but I'm going crazy that yeah. time. So sabi ko, oh why would I um, prioritize other people? Paano naman ako? So I've set a boundary na like, ganito mm-hmm. lang. This is what I'm ito lang ipapadala ko. Guess mm-hmm. ito lang yung kaya ng sahod ko. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go overtime just to send you it's, something else. It's good that you've, you've done that. Yeah, and it really helped me a lot. That must be mm-hmm. very difficult because it um, is, yeah. The thing is, when you're far away from your loved ones, mm-hmm. you feel there's a slight guilt. Like, yes, okay, I'm true. not spending time with you, so yeah. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna g- give give you something to supplement yeah. ma- what I'm. It's like compromising. Yung mo, yung exactly. Here's the money, so it's like parang yung titi tung kapalit. Yeah. yeah. Yung yeah. Ko. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I guess there's a sense of guilt it for is. OFWs, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. It took me a lot. Na hindi lang yung time, but mm. yung parang ang, ang hirap sabihin. Yeah. But mm. you have to hurt someone else just to prioritize yourself well sometimes. Done. But I, th- I, yeah. I, I, I respect you for that because not a lot of people can say that to their family. Mm-mm. Mahirap, you know? mahirap. Mahirap. Hindi, Sobra. Pero like you said, bro, it's it's the knowing. Yung mga tao sa Pinas is the knowing that there's something coming. Mm-mm. So they're not worried. Yeah. They're so like, yo, yeah, bro, pasarap muna tayo dito. <laughs> like, just, you know. Just hanging out, drinking. Yeah. Some people taking drugs and yeah. stuff. Because they like, know that, you know, they, they, they're well they're taken care of. something. You know? Yes. So it's, Especially kung may emergency, Mm-mm. ganon, it's like, ah, oh, padala lang sila. Mm. Pero sa atin, sa mga people from here, you OFW, or mga people na wala yung pamilya nila dito, sino yung tumutulong sa kanila? Mm. Like, if something happened to you or something Mm-mm. happened to you, they can't send you money from there. Yeah, exactly. You know, unless, you know, yeah. you guys are super rich or, you know, well off sa Pinas, mm-hmm. di ba? Yeah. So, sometimes that's also what they also need to think about. Yung mga Filipino families dyan. <laughs> Please. Parang <awan> don't <laughs> Kung yung isipin na porke nandito kami, eh, parang pasarap-sarap na lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not receiving anything from anyone. You have to work hard always. Yeah, so bro, yung palang British um, public, how did they receive Pimp My Ramen? Ano yung mga initial reaction nila? Yeah. And how did they receive? Well, uh, that's the thing. L- luckily, uh, like most British people are, especially London, they're, mm-hmm. you know, they're quite adventurous. You mm-hmm. know, they're like, they're willing to try things. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, they're a bit more risk taker when it comes to food. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, uh, very well, actually. Like, very, very well. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Hindi siya mas, hindi sila, hindi nila inirapan na, oh, what's this and stuff like that. You no. Know, they um, embrace it more. Yeah, they're, they're just like super curious. Mm-hmm. They're like, they would ask a lot of questions. Yeah. They're just, um, just, just really curious about it. Like, very, very, very good uh, reception actually from the British public. But yeah, nice. I'm, I'm very, uh, very grateful about that. Yeah. yeah. Ano naman yung mga food related hobbies na mga passion mo? Right. Yeah. Look, um, I think I got this from my mom. Like, I the moment I wake up in the morning, I know what I'm gonna have for dinner. Or if I don't know, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> I'm ga- away, yeah, yeah. I'm like, if if I haven't de- if I haven't decided, like. I'm over, I'm thinking about it. Okay. Yeah. Like oh, I've already marinated something the oh night before. God. Like yeah. I don't know. Like look, it, it is really my passion. Yeah. But like, um, unlike because uh, I'm not a chef. Yeah. I would say I'm a cook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not like a trained chef, mm-hmm. and I'm also not interested in making fine dining food. Yeah. So that that's a big difference. So I like food that I, I like. Yeah. Like that, I I would eat. Yeah. Like it could be like comfort food, like nothing fancy. I don't like fancy things. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, I like deep frying stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you uh, do a lot of experiments as well? Like you know, you're trying to improve one thing. Halimbawa, gusto mo yung isang food na kinakain mm. mo araw-araw. Do you kind of like make different versions of it? Yeah, um, I do. Uh, and I, I get obsessed with things. I'm a, I have an obsessive uh, personality, so I would obsess in one thing and then move on to the next. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my wife would uh, would be, yeah, she's not exactly happy about that. <laughs> so I, I would obsess in like pizza. So yeah. I've obsessed with pizza, and I, I bought like a an expensive pizza oven and stuff. Yeah. Oh, bought all the stuff that you need, <laughs> and then what else did I do? But yeah, I uh, I was interested in sourdough, so I was baking sourdough. Yeah. All that stuff. And then, yeah, Japanese food is interesting to me. Kind of a a Thai food, Chinese food. I love Chinese food. I love takeaways. Mm -hmm. Like the shittiest, the better. (laughs) (laughs) Especially here. uh, London. I'm a a Chinese takeaway slut. (laughs) I love that. I don't want the good stuff. (laughs) Give me the sweetest. Nice and greasy, the best. Yeah, man. (laughs) 
<laughs> so, nila, if there's a kid on the counter na doing his homework mm. in a Chinese takeaway shop, that's when you know it's legit. <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh, that's new. I've never heard that. It's, it's like okay. a meme. All right, I'll, meme I'll, thingy. I'll... Yeah. Oh my god. Um, have you tried any business before, food related na before this pimp my ramen? No, absolutely not. Mm. This, this is your uh, first one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, also, because I'm a I'm a risk taker as well. Mm-hmm. I feel like I was I was telling you uh, before I started the business. I was just doing all sort of job. Yeah. So in my head, I have nothing to lose. That's yeah, true. Exactly. You know. So so I had no experience. Like mm-hmm. so, what I would say to oh. people is, you don't need experience uh, to open a business mm-hmm. as long as, as as I said earlier, you're passionate about mm-hmm. the specific thing that you want to do. But yeah, no experience required. Experience is while you're doing it. Can you tell us, bro, about like food-related collaboration if you did any before? Um, I like I would love to, but no one has approached me, or I haven't really approached anyone about that. Mm-hmm. But that that'll be cool. I I love collaborations. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe you're open to it. Yeah, yeah. I, that's something that I've never thought about. But like yeah. now that you've mentioned it, like uh, that would be cool. What will be an ideal collab for you? Yeah, okay. Like, because um, I do love burgers. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. if I go to any restaurant, like, the first thing I look at is burgers. So, yeah. anything that kind of, like, uh, like burger-related. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I, don't, I feel not embarrassed to approach anyone. But, like, um, look, I'm not, a, I'm not a big deal. My business is so tiny. <laughs> like, nobody knows about me, really, unless you, you know, had ramen burger. I'm not, like, these big mm-hmm. businesses. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel hesitant to approach people. Oh yeah, do you want to collaborate? Yeah. Like, but maybe I should. Mm. But um, yeah, anything burger related, mm-hmm. anything smash burger related. Yeah. But pala burger yung trip mo talaga. Mm. What, what's in a burger that fascinates you or makes you interested? Yeah. Um, look, growing up in the Philippines, there, there, there weren't like a burger is a. Like a like a street food stand that's mm-hmm. quite like like sh- shitty meat and mm. you know how it is like yeah you know, but it's nice but coming to the UK and having a proper burger mm-hmm. I was like whoa this is it this is this, yeah. there's something in here ah. so because like you said satin hindi naman masyadong sikat no. yung burger yeah, before right. burger is like a cheap food yeah exactly. that is just like a, Chaka, ibang street food na you can yeah it's be not interested. a thing yeah I, and I feel like um, there is a lot of mediocre burgers around. Mm. Like uh, for me, my experience, you go to a restaurant, like it's rare that I've been wowed when I had a mm-hmm. burger. Yeah. Like a lot of burgers I've had is, it's okay, mm-hmm. but I would forget about it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. What is the yung pinaka burger na natry mo sa London mm. Now you say, wow. Yeah, aside from Pimp My Ramen. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I... Nothing special. Like mm-hmm. actually, I I do like Shake Shack and uh mm-hmm. oh, and, Shack, and yeah. Five Guys burgers. Okay. Yeah. yeah like yeah. Uh, for me, like simple, n- yeah. nothing special. Um, yeah. Um, I do love Five Guys chips as well. Oh, that's like, my my daughter's favorite Five Guys man. classic. Yeah. Mm, sweet potato yata yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. N- nothing. Nothing. Nothing fine dining for yeah. me. Like just just. It's a good burger. I prefer a smash burger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, because I, I, that, that's my style of burger. So mm-hmm. I do prefer that than uh, like a thick, red in the middle kind yeah. of burger. Some people prefer that, but for me, smash double. Yeah. American plastic cheese. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it has to be the American plastic. Bro, cheese. it has to be. It can't be a Gouda yeah. cheese or. A, no, it's no. it's just it, it melts differently. Yeah. That's true. It's yeah. just the. Uh, you're having that not not for the flavor itself because American just have a lot of flavor, mm-hmm. but you have it for the for the mouth feel, That's true, for the yeah. kind of a texture feel. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. and you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So if you can go back in time, ano yung gusto mo na parang if you can give a piece of advice na sa before to yourself before starting mm. a business, what would you give yourself? Wow. Yeah. Yung sana alam ko to before ako mag-start. Mm. Yeah, I could answer that with the, you know, like maybe nothing. Mm-hmm. That would be, but like that, oh, no. It makes sense though, isn't it? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I would have diversified a lot earlier. Mm. Like I would have added things a lot earlier. 
Like right. I really hold on to that. Like mm. for a long, long time, I was just selling ramen burgers, mm-hmm. but that's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, that's why I, I I struggled for a while in a way. Mm-hmm. Like uh, my business was okay, but it wasn't taking the next step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have diversified earlier, added things mm-hmm. a lot earlier. Why didn't you before? Is it different I th- factors? Maybe money or mm-hmm. no, not money. Like I th- I think. I think because I'm, I'm an easily satisfied kind of guy. Mm-hmm. So that's why I only have a small business because that's enough mm-hmm. for me. At that moment in time, I that, that was enough for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was like there's nothing to add. I'm good here right now. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm lazy, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm easily satisfied. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at that, before, at that point, uh, I was good. Yeah, content ka na. Kumbaga, I was content. Yeah. yeah, I was easily content. I got that from my dad, I would yeah. say. Mm-hmm. My, my dad brought me to be easily content. Yeah. But yeah. So, um, ano, paano mo naisip na dagdagan? What made you... Look, um, I think a lot, uh, it's it's from the outside, okay. really, not from, from in me. I like see. a lot of my friends, family members would say to me, okay, maybe you could, you could do other things, mm-hmm. you could add more stuff. You just mm-hmm. took their advice. Basically. Exactly. And then like, uh, yeah, but it didn't come from me, mm-hmm. to be honest. Like, as I said to you, I was just like I was happy with what I'm and, doing, and that was a yeah. good advice as yeah, well. Yeah, isn't it, it is, it is for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. So if you ha- if you have any good advice to me, <laughs> like just shoot, and I'll 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 think about yeah, it. Yeah, and I can see that you're really open to uh, lots of things as well. Yeah. Napag they say something to you. Yeah. You consider it basically. Yeah. Like, Open-minded. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. business. <laughs> change, change is uh, is great. Like um, I think we all should change. That's true. Yeah. We should. We we are changing mm-hmm. every day. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If you're not changing, you're stuck. Yeah. Or like, dead. You guys are doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's a big change. Exactly. Like this is something that you you know. Yeah, I have never music. done this yeah. before. <laughs> to making music to doing podcasts yeah. and yeah, it's it's a big change. Yeah. Things. We're we're so lucky at this time, right at this age, you know. Like uh, back in the day, if you're if you're a, a butcher, you're a butcher for that's life. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and it's that's also stuck to us. Like halimbawa, yung mga tao na they stick to one company, ganon. Mm-hmm. Yung, you know, you have parents that are like working on the same mm. public sector yeah. for all their lives yeah. until mm. they die. You know, even the yung loyalty kasi sa atin eh, very instilled on our yeah. minds yeah, you know? true. pero ngayon it's like you know you can diversify there's so many things to try you know yeah. you only have one life so it's good to try a lot of stuff mm-hmm. and another thing there though is um, uh, because there are so many options like mm-hmm. w- it, we could get a bit distracted sometimes yeah, like true. the you know the lack of focus obviously mm-hmm. okay like uh, because we have so many options, yeah, you know that could be a, a problem as well. So yeah. you have to be mindful. You have to be intentional. Exactly yeah. intentional. I love yeah. that. That's word. true. That's yeah. true. Okay, speaking of being intentional, <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, you're a cook. I I was about to say chef. <laughs> you're a chef, I'm but a cook. Uh, yeah, you're a cook. Uh, and how do you? Because it's a comfort food, isn't it? Yung yeah. Burger. So. Uh, regarding health, how is how important is health to you? What are the things you do for your right. health? Look, um, my, my product, uh, I, it's like it's it's comfort food. It's not yeah. the healthiest, I would say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I like I'm open during the week weekend, mm. so it's a it's a treat. You know, you mm. don't have a ramen burger every day. Yeah. But when it comes to health, I recently since the, in the last five years, I've been. You know, I've been, my wife would say, obsessing about health. Obsessing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, like, uh, as, as I get older, you know, um, as I said earlier, you become more intentional. Mm-hmm. Everything has an intent because your your time on earth is dwindling. Mm-hmm. It's less and less. So, True. <laughs> like, when you're 20, you're like, yeah, I'm going to live forever. Forever. <laughs> you know, Why are we like good. this <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, look, it comes with experience. But now I, uh, half of my time is is like movement. I call mm-hmm. it movement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so I w- I would go to the gym. I would I would cycle, play sports. I love sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I would climb, racket sports. I would play as well. Um, walk the dogs, hike. So any type of movement makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like whatever it is. Um, I'm also a sucker for technique. Mm. So, because I'm not naturally the strongest, the most explosive person. Mm. But uh, but for me, uh, 
I I get a lot of joy from from doing something right. Mm. You know. Yeah. Na nasabi nga sa akin ni yung basically may isa kaming friend si Julian. So when we were climbing together, uh, sinabi niya sa akin, si Harry, he's like obsessed sa ano sa technique. Tingnan mo pag uh, nagka-climb siya, he does hindi ba yung mga iba nagka-climb lang basta-basta mm. ikaw you're like you're very kind of like elegant and graceful when mm. you when you climb there's like you you yung nag obsess ka talaga sa technique yeah in yeah, a way yeah, yeah, yeah. you find that your that's your personality in a way yeah I, I would say so like look I, it applies to a lot of things in my life like um, uh, look I I I like to look good as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would. As you can see, guys. No. <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, like, I would, uh, you know, um, li- little little things would. I would notice little things like uh, the detail and yeah. stuff. You're, yeah, uh, the deta- devil's in the detail. Anyway, detail right? oriented. Yeah, look, everyone's different though. Like yeah. this is me. I'm yeah. talking about myself, which is yeah. But yeah, technique, movement. I love movement yeah. and. Uh, before I would, uh, bef- because if I have, I like to influence people and mm-hmm. I've learned that uh, everyone's different and I'm trying to help myself back a little bit because uh, if I have friends, uh, I would tell them, oh, you should do this, you should do yeah, that. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think uh, I'm think i trying not to do that anymore. Yeah. I just told you to drink more protein. Which is, <laughs> I should not do that. Like, look, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, be- because like I get excited about things, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm very excitable. Mm-hmm. But the way you s- the way you say it, though, bro, it's not like a criticism. It's more mm. of helping yeah. in yeah. a way. You know, what I mean, you're like you're you're telling people because you think that will help them, it benefits them. Yeah. You know, what I mean, not like oh, gawin mo to dahil you know ganu kasi ga- mm. alam mo yon. Yeah. You, you know. As, as I said, because I, I get really excited because uh, okay, I, I try this thing and I and I. I it's like amazing. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I cannot wait to share that. You want to share it? Yeah, like, bro. Like, I've yeah, got this new thing. Yeah, like you should try it. But, um, but look, my thing is like, not everyone, like people doesn't want other people to tell them what to do. That's what Most I've noticed. People, yeah. yeah, exactly. They're like, who are you to tell me? Yeah. Like they might not say it to your face, yeah. but uh, now I'm, I'm being more intentional about yeah. it. I'm being more like, okay, maybe this person doesn't, doesn't welcome this advice but yeah. giving yeah. out unsolicited advice exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah but i also i i think as well what i found out as well is like a lot of people want to discover things themselves. by themselves mm-hmm. yeah, yeah there's yeah. something in that definitely yeah it's like for example if you're telling me like listen to this music it's like i probably wouldn't <laughs> listen to it but if i discovered it on my there's kind of like this sense the satisfaction yeah, is different sense of yeah. sat- it's like oh wow i just yeah, discovered yeah, yeah. this discover yeah you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, i'm yeah. like then i want to share it you know yeah, and, <laughs> and then you want to share it. And, then, and, then <laughs> and then you become her then you want to tell yeah, me yeah. Uh, <laughs> see like that's it's, it's a hard yeah. challenge, you know what I mean? but it's you know hard pag ano nakaka-receive ka ng advice naman you hmm. hindi mo naman like following it 100% you still exactly. have to uh, incorporate your lifestyle, mm. the time that you have, ganyan, di ba? Like yung uh, taking up uh, protein, ganyan. Mm. Ikaw, syempre, he's just giving you advice, di ba? Yeah. Arang It's up to you what yes, you do. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yun nga. Mm-hmm. So yeah, health. Take care of your health. Um, I would say a lot of people do not exercise enough. Yeah, it's, what, it's what I've uh, noticed. Uh, people think, People think, uh, you know, most people are doing the bare minimum, mm-hmm. even less. I yeah. would say people should move more. But uh, as you said, though, t- time and lifestyle mm-hmm. is different for everyone. Yeah. Work schedules. Yeah. Some people don't, don't really have time. Mm-hmm. But look, it's, instead of using the, the lift, I take the stairs. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. I think nag stairs ka ba kanina? Yeah. Yeah. So we live guys in the third floor Sun and Soul Studio mm-hmm. podcast is located third floor. <laughs> so nag I mean, yeah. siya. It's it. So instead of the lift. Yeah, take take every opportunity. That's true. Yeah. Ako rin lang like short distances hindi na ako magbabas. Mm. I'll just rather walk. Yeah. Yeah, sinasabi ng mga coworker ko, hindi ka ba napapagod? Ah? No, that's me. Mm. I like walking. Mm. So Napansin ko nga nung pumuuwi ako sa Pinas. Mm-hmm. So, yung barangay namin niya, siguro mga three blocks or four blocks hanggang sa main kanto, ganyan. Yeah. Karamihan ng mga tao, nagtatricycle, ganyan, nag-ano. Yeah. Tapos nung 
umuwi ako, naglalakad ako from, mm-hmm. from yung sa bahay namin, sa kanto, sa sakayan. Sabi naman, ba't naglalakad ka? Hindi ka mag-tricycle. Gano'n ka lang. Mura nag- lang ganyan. naman. Ganyan Mura sila. Yeah. Like, hindi naman ako sa nagtitipid. Uh-oh. Like, I just wanna walk. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of us are very... Um, mahilig tayo sa comfort. Di ba? Yeah. Sa atin, mm-hmm. nga, magpe-pedicab pa sila doon sa kanto, magkano mm-hmm. sila. Kasi, di ba, misan naman, mainit, ganun. Mm-hmm. Kaya, ano, pero, I rather walk. Yeah, yeah it, I feel like uh, the society now, we have a comfort crisis. Mm-hmm. You it's know, true. like, uh, everything's too comfortable mm-hmm. for us. Mm-hmm. So, we're not pushing ourselves enough. Also, going back to walking, like, walking to, I don't know, from work to home, whatever, to to a place in the Philippines. You know, walking slows things down. Like yeah. you can observe everything mm-hmm. exactly. more intently. Like you know, you're walking and like you see you see little things. That, that lady that's selling something mm-hmm. vegetables. I don't know. You, you can observe things better. Like exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like about walking as well. Uh, napapansin mo na oh the flowers are blooming. Yeah, now. No, you, the yeah. sensory thing. You can smell things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I take my time. Nag, nag uh, ano talaga ako, I allocate like uh, 30 minutes earlier yeah. para makapunta ako on time. So something like this, just uh, switching, you know, yung mga imbis na maging comfortable ka, just mm-hmm. move. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you'd be surprised like p- people would say, "Okay, oh, don't you get tired walking?" Mm, I don't. Actually, <laughs> it's the opposite. Like yeah. if you do uh, some exercise, actually gives you, you'd be surprised, it gives mm-hmm. you energy. More True. energy. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yung palang stress, bro. How do you deal with it? Being a business owner. Uh, just speaking from my side, um, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't stress about mm-hmm. um, things a lot. Ano yung, um, is there a philosophy behind it? Um, look, yeah. Look, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've delved into stoicism and oh, uh, right. Look, uh, there's there's only so much you can control. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, uh, I can control my thoughts, what That's I true. would do, but like most things, I I can't control even my what my dog would do mm. or my wife yeah. would who is thinking. So Other people's thoughts. Yeah, like we're bomba- bombarded with the uh, with with news and information, mm-hmm. social media news. Like, yeah. bro, like I don't know, like I mean, the, the war in Ukraine and Israel, like Mm-mm. that's pretty bad, like so bad, but like. Look, I can watch that every day, but like, I don't think I'm gonna make any difference to those mm. those situations. Yeah. So I try to avoid things that I have completely no control over. Yeah. Yeah. So I would only control how how I deal with things. Yeah, so I see. That's it. Simplify. Yeah. I simplify things. That's it. How um, about you? Really you? good advice. Ayun, uh, yeah, and yan then when I came here, ganyan. Mm. Uh, Dun ko rin na found out about stoicism. Mm. So now I have a this I have a face in my life before na all I watch in YouTube is about stoicism. Mm. Yeah. And now I have this book called uh, The Daily Stoic. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, every, I know yeah, by one, um, so. Ryan, Holiday. Ryan Holiday. So ano yung book na yun? Hindi mo siya babasahin ng on a uh, isang sitting Every day, there's a, like a mantra yeah. na you can follow. So, it's yeah. very approachable, that book. Yes, yeah. I like it. So yeah, morning, ganyan, open mo siya, there's a book, uh, there's a page there dedicated to that day. Yeah. It's, very, it's a very good one. Very, very, yeah. he, he made stoicism like approachable yeah, to digestible. modern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a book, uh, it's called uh, Meditations by Marcus, Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius, yeah. yeah. That was good too. <laughs> not for everyone, but like yeah, it's, it's a, pretty it's a big, book, no? pretty deep. Yeah. But yeah, it's good, good, uh, good way of looking. Yeah, at no, things. no, letting go then of the things I cannot control. Control, mm-hmm. yeah. Eko na re umula, no okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why would I stress control. about that yeah. one, de ba? Yeah. Hindi tanga na umula na. It's like what nothing I, you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's mad. You know. Kasi anong gagawin mo, di ba? It's already there. So, exactly. There's nothing that you can do um, about it. Plus, ano na lang ako ngayon. Uh, I'm, I've become a problem solver kaysa yung ah, isipin mo yung yeah. bakit nangyari to. It's just solve the problem straight mm-hmm. away. That's it. That's how I uh, handle stress oh, right now. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can tell that you, you told me before that you you kind of stressed before. Yeah. And like, you know, thinking about Philippines and stuff. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Now you seem to be in a good place. Yeah, I good am. Good for you. 
very much in a good place right now. <laughs> yeah. Kailangan natin yun. Oo, oh, oh, lalo when you're here sa malayo sa family mo, di ba? Plus, I don't have anyone with me. Wala akong family. I'm mm. just uh, yeah. me here. So, naghanap ako ng family ko. Like, mm. yeah, ito. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tribe. space, my tribe, yung 4463, the music stuff. And uh, connecting then sa mga other Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's good that you you guys are doing that because yeah. um I, I, the one thing that is missing I think uh, in Western countries is a sense of community. You That's know? true. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and like look, um, I, I know my neighbors, but like the next, uh, we don't really know the people around us. Mm-hmm. You no, know? there, there's not enough. Iba nga sa Pilipinas, sa Pilipinas, pwede kang uh, pumunta sa kapitbahay mo, magkipagkape ka, istorya. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Dito, I sometimes like you don't even know your neighbor. Yeah. Like, katabing bahay mo na mismo, you don't see them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it, it's different. Like, you don't even know yeah. who, who the next people live. Um, sino ko sino sila, ganyan. I, so, I think that's unnatural. Yeah. As For humans to, to, to yeah. be like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think exactly. the natural state of us is like, just being super social and mm-hmm. everyone's obsessed about individuality and privacy. Yeah. Right now, like... Uh, yeah, here like, in the West as well. Yeah, everyone yeah. wants to be private, but like, mm. I think privacy is slightly overrated. Yeah. I oh. think also, like you said before, balance, there has to be a balance. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, your yeah. social, your work, mm. everything has to ha- balance in order for you to have, sustain a good life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Sinabi mo pala like sinabi natin kanina like mahilig ka sa climbing. Mm. You remember when we used to be on a basketball team together? Yeah. yeah, we used to be on a basketball team. I'm not team. as good as Ace with basketball. <laughs> I, I I like watching basketball, but uh, I'm not as good. Yeah, because pero, Ace Ace is the ace. <laughs> yeah. Pero ano pang mga sports ang um, you know, you're passionate about ano right. yung mga like lately ano yung mga bago mong mm-hmm. yeah, sinasalihan? Yeah, I I do I play a lot of uh, racket sports, so mm. not tennis, but uh, squash. I play a lot of squash. Mm-hmm. I find squash quite, um, I would say, like physically aggressive. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it's very, if you want to release a lot of anger, like yeah. squash is for you. Like, you just hit that ball so <laughs> <Yeah>. hard. I noticed like, I think a few weeks ago, months, you invited me to do a racket sport sa Woolwich yata yun. No? Oh yeah, yeah, that's squash. Yeah. I think badminton. Badminton maybe. ba? Yeah, oh. yeah. So you do a lot of different sports. Yeah, so badminton, it's just, I played badminton when I was young, so that's something mm. that I already, I, I already enjoy. And, mm. like, and now, like, re- revisiting it, I was like, oh, this is really interesting. Um, but yeah, the, that climbing, um, yeah, I, I would... I would try different stuff as well. Mm. I, I mean, you know, like those are the things that I do now, but I, I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your health is really. Uh, you Maganda know. rin para sa mental health. Yes, no? yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I've noticed that as well. Parang nung, when I started regularly exercising, mm. my mental health improved as well. It's not for just sure. for your body. Yeah. And ang ganda nung sinabi mo na, ano, it's, it may. Dapat nilang lahat ng ginagawa mo, it should be more intentional. So, mm. that's what uh, made me do regular exercises as well. Because you yeah. you become intentional as well. Yeah. Sa mga ginagawa mo, mm. no? Time becomes more precious, mm-hmm. you see. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, going back. Uh, your partner, Elika, I believe mm. used to sell macarons and cakes. And she- you sell burgers. So, uh, do you follow off your diet sometimes? Natitemp ka rin ba minin? Uh, recently, <laughs> we've... we've uh, look. Puro comfort food ka niya. <laughs> no, no, no. But, <laughs> sweets, then burgers. So, yeah. Uh, luckily, like at home, we're very good. Yeah. Okay. If we're at home, like we would eat like mostly healthy food. Mm. But... but we we do have a lot of friends. We so we go out a lot. When you go out, like that, that's when things get yeah, out of hand. That's true. That but uh, but like like Elika and I, we're we're reasonably fit people. Yeah. Uh, which is luckily, you know, that's the situation, mm-hmm. and we we do take care of our like whatever we eat. Mm-hmm. So whatever we sell, we don't necessarily eat those things all the time. Like, <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> no, but the problem with with Elika is she because she's a cake baker, so mm. she would have a lot of trimmings of the cake, yeah. which is the best bits to be yeah. honest, like the brown bits outside the cake. She oh, yeah, to trim. that's my favorite part as well. It's the best. Yeah. So that's a struggle. Um, but yeah, but she's not doing the markets anymore, Elika. Yeah. But she has just opened her uh, her uh, e-commerce website. Mm. Okay. So she's nice. doing that right now. So. 
she does um she would you can order macaroons yeah. brownies and uh, she would deliver it to you oh Yes. It's like uh, not not her not, oh, okay. not, not <laughs> yeah, herself, sorry, but like uh, through the post, you okay. get the macaroons. I see. Um, yeah, so she does cake still, like you know, consultation, and she would do the cake for you nice. and mm. stuff. By the way, shout out Elika. Elika, we miss you in the market. So now, guys, if you want Elika treats, it's now available online. Yeah, Li- Lilika, Lilika, Lilika treats still. Uh, I think she's changed. She don't know, know the name. <laughs> uh, Lilika dot uh, dot com maybe. Okay. Uh, just 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 go to Instagram and and yeah. type Lilika. Yeah. That's, we'll that's link it. We'll Lilika. link it. Yeah. On yeah. The top, um, if ever. She does amazing macaroons and and other and stuff. And personalized cake. Yeah, like uh, well. if you like artistic cake, she mm-hmm. doesn't do like uh, stereotypical uh, cakes. It's a bit more like it's almost like an art for mm-hmm. her. Yeah. You have to check Naalala those out. Naalala ko meron siyang customer, mm-hmm. um, si Dominica, oh, yeah. uh, her daughter. Oh yeah, this, she does. Uh, every year, she does different stuff for her. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Different team and everything yeah. like mm-hmm. that. So yeah, she's a really good guy. She is. Yeah, very definitely good. Check, very check her website out. Yeah. General topic naman tayo, bro. All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who are the people in your life that you consider your mentors? Oh, uh, I mean, look. I would, I would say, I, I would say you is mm. one of them. Like, Boss uh, Ace. You, you're, 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 an, uh, you're an original gangster, so <laughs> you're there, bro. Um, look, my dad. I would say, because mm-hmm. uh, not, not necessarily by by talk, but like by example. I think mm-hmm. my dad is my my biggest mentor for sure. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, my my father-in-law actually recently um, I've, I've been spending a lot of time with him. Wow. Um, so he's been a mentor to me actually. It's a it's a different perspective when it's not your actual father, mm-hmm. like even for for the other way around. So they they have a different view of things. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those people, my friends as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, those. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So uh, going back to food. Uh what what is the weirdest food combination that you've tried and surprisingly it worked well? I, I'm 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 gonna go back to when I was uh, may, maybe 10, 10 yeah. years old. I <laughs> like I know this is a bit of a weird answer. But basically I, I had uh, like dying. Yeah. And then achara. Oh. I don't know if that's a combination, but like I, I rem- think that is that achara. Not is Achara, that a combination? Papaya, 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 papaya yeah, yeah. Um, ano? Pickled. Pickled, so pickled papaya, papaya yeah. yeah. So I had that when I was 10 in, in the school, like, and then rice, obviously. And I remember, I still remember the feeling until oh. now. I, it's just like... <laughs> it brings you back. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it hit me. I was like, yo, mm-hmm. what the heck? Like, what is this it's combination? Achara, it's achara like is super sweet. salty and then kind of yeah. sweet and yeah. sour. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is something. But yeah, that's yeah. the one yeah. that comes to my head. I think in yeah. Filipinos, we have a thing for sweet and then salty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look yeah, at yeah, yeah. Um, Champorado and Toyo. Ay, diba? Yeah. Oh, it's I've never tried that. But yeah. yeah, I've tried that. Maybe that's because the next my, one. My father is... a. Uh, from Rizal. Mm-hmm. So, ano siya, pure Tagalog. Oh. Kinakain talaga nila yun. Oh. Ah, yeah. no way. Yeah. Ano, ch- parang ganun yung sinasabi mo, champurado to, tapos meron pa akong... It's weird, no? <laughs> yeah, it, it's a very weird taste. Tapos dinuguan at saka puto. Puto, di ba? Di ba? Oh, yeah. So, like, Sweet and salty. Mahilig salt. tayo sa mga... Ganong yeah, combo. Obscure, yeah. 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 Tingnan mo yung dirty ice cream, tinapay at saka... That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like, uh, cheddar cheese and ice cream. Like, it's a flavor. It's like, yeah, yeah. everyone... Cheese it's cream. a common flavor. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mahilig tayo... I mean, actually, ngayon ko lang napansin, mm-hmm. but we, 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 we like weird tastes. Yeah, yeah things, we... Bro. It's yeah. when, when, people, salty. when people ask me, uh, could you describe your cuisine? Like, uh, I guess <laughs> obviously like Thai food and like uh, mm-hmm. Vietnamese is like common and exactly. like people know it. But yeah. like Filipino food, I don't know if I can describe it. it no, it's hard. I, 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 I always say to people, Filipino food is, I feel like it's for Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm fine with that. Look, I, I, like a lot of cuisine, they're like, oh yeah. Um, they want to please other Mm-mm. nationalities. Oh yeah, uh, they want to be globalized. Mm-hmm. But like, look, I'm I'm glad that a lot of people don't like Filipino food. I love it. More for mm-hmm. us. Yeah, <laughs> look, I, I that's good. Like, I I don't care if uh, the the world loves our food. We love it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think that's all that matters. Exactly. 
You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, like you said, a lot of different cuisine, they try to westernize their food. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the word, yeah. But but for us, it's like, you know, it is what it is really, mm-hmm. isn't it? It is. It's, it's, that's how it's served, that's how mm-hmm. mess it is, that's mm. how it tastes like. Yeah, you, you know like I mean? it or not. If you don't like it, you know, tough, we love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, a lot, a lot of cuisines and, and chefs as well, Filipino chefs, you know, they're fighting for that uh, f- to represent the Filipino mm. cuisine. But for me, I, I have a different take. I, I'm not saying their take is different, mm-hmm. but my take is like, I like, I don't want to try. Yeah. Like, look, uh, I don't even want to, like, if you discover our food and, and then you like it and then you come to me and mm-hmm. say, oh, yo, I've tried Filipino food and I like it. And th- then I, w- I would come to you and say, okay, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Uh, there's this food as well. I can make you food. But yeah. I'm not necessarily going to go to somebody and say, oh, my food is amazing. Mm-hmm. Like you're missing out, bro. No, yeah. I'm not going to say that. Like I want you to come to me and ask me about my cuisine. Yeah. I'm not going to slap you in the face. Oh, try this, try this. <laughs> shove it in their faces. No, I, I feel yeah. like a, a lot of Filipinos do that. Yeah. Like, yo, adobo is amazing and stuff. Yeah. yeah, you should try this. Man, chill out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, look, That's true. if you ask me to cook you Filipino food, I would do it. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, put flowers around <laughs> it and yeah. you know make it nice for you. Yeah, if yeah. you like it, you like it. If you don't, yeah, it's fine with me too. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, there's some chefs out there that are trying to. Yeah, which is amazing. You know, trying to put Filipino cuisine out Mm-mm. in the world for, for it to be recognized. Yes. That's commendable. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that, that's different. But yeah. we're just saying like for us, you know, how we feel about, mm-hmm. you know, we love our food. That's our basically. take, yeah. 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 I, I think, I think I, I'm just getting sick of defending <laughs> Filipino that's cuisine. That's true, yeah. I'm just getting sick of it, bro. Like, I'm done. Like, yeah. Like, have some Vietnamese food. Yeah. Get away. If you don't true, like that's it. True. Bahala kayo. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to eat pork. Hey, you're complaining there's too much pork. Well, like, you don't need to eat it. Like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but we you love don't it. Like balot. Mm. Yeah. yeah, balot lalo, no? Uh, it's very polarizing. <laughs> my wife wouldn't uh, try balot, though. <laughs> the good thing about my wife is, like, that's why we travel really well. Like, she would try everything. Mm. She yeah. would try every single thing. Can you tell us, bro, um, tagasan yung wife mo, anong ethnicity niya? Yeah, so my wife is from Iran, from Tehran, mm-hmm. but she she moved here when she was a teenager. So mm-hmm. she did study here, um, like high school thingy, yeah. and her university as well. So yeah, yeah. but um, she is an Iranian British, mm-hmm. as you would say. But yeah, yeah, pretty so cool. Para, para lang sa mga viewers taga yeah. panod, baka kala nila Pinay or no. thing, so at least alam nila. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, you know, it's interesting that she is from a different background, mm. not just uh, like European as well. Like mm-hmm. uh, having that, like, you know, she's an immigrant as well in a way. You yeah. know, that that makes mm-hmm. it. I find that interesting. Yeah, yeah. she's an actress as well, right? Oh, she yeah. is an actress. Yeah, yeah. Although acting is a is a is a di- is a very difficult um, environment, yeah. as you know. The same with music, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. just, uh, there's a lot of competition as mm-hmm. well. It's, it's yeah. a big. Big, yeah. it's a whole different world. You have to be unique. Yeah, basically. the good thing about music though is even if no one is paying your attention, you could create your own music. Oh, definitely. As, you know, especially nowadays. Easier. Yeah, it's slightly easier mm-hmm. with with, uh, with easier acting. Comparing to acting, of it'd course, be, yeah. it'd be weird to be yeah one ma- one ma- one person uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, production. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like with music, it's like you can make your own music by mm-hmm. yourself. You yeah, don't yeah. need people. Collaboration but, is easier yeah. as well. And there's, we, we, uh, we, I acting is, is a whole different uh-huh. thing. Yeah. Some you music, I say, you have lots of tutorials you can find online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have to be passionate about it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Harry, what is the next for you? What are the projects you're looking forward to in the future? There's any? Um, no, no projects mm-hmm. specifically. I'm just, uh, yeah, taking day by day mm-hmm. and... Um, I just want to travel even more. Oh. Uh, travel even more. Uh, I would say, um, yeah, just that. Traveling. Maybe even have more time. Yes. <laughs> spend more time with my family, which is there in the Philippines. So I feel like we as a society, as OFWs, mm-hmm. we don't spend enough time, physical time with our family. So I, I would want to focus on that even mm-hmm. more. Family time. Nice. Yeah. That's You're going back home yeah. this year. Yeah, and also I have a daughter. So mm. her name is Charlie, uh, Aina. So yeah, like you know, we we haven't had 
much time to mm-hmm. you know spend time together yeah. and get to know each other. So I I would wanna mm. give her time as well. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What advice would you give someone like especially venturing out on the food business? Mm. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> don't open a restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's just a uh, oh, re- re- restaurant. is just a tough game. It yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, maybe don't re- uh, start small. You'd be surprised how how little you need to open a, a business. Mm. Yeah. As long as you, you know, like start small. Don't be afraid. Like look, always think what's worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. Like, there you like go. if it doesn't work, doesn't work. Try try something else. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a city of opportunity. If you're in London, listening to this or mm-hmm. watching this, like um, if you're in London. Like opportunities are everywhere, so start small. Don't be scared. Like don't be scared to make mistakes and stick to what you're good at. Oh, I yeah. like that yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, right. I like that one. <laughs> okay. So, what are? Do you have any mantras or quotes that you live by? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what book that I read recently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, uh, look. This is one thing that. Um, Try to die with zero money. Mm. Interesting. Because I just read this book. It's called Dying with Zero. And it's like kind of like changed okay. my way of thinking recently. So uh-huh. so a lot of people like would like to accumulate wealth and money. True. But like a lot of people actually die with a lot of money and then the money goes I don't know where. Yeah. But like I think I think uh, you, you know, if you if you have money, I mean, you know, take care of your family, obviously, mm-hmm. if you have kids. But like I think you should spend that money. Mm-hmm. I think you should you should Die with zero. That's. I really think when you're dead, you should your bank account should be nearly zero, nearly <laughs> zero at least. Spend One P. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. yeah. Nah, spend yeah. that money, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's a pretty fun book to read as well. It's yeah. about like uh, okay, not just spending your money. It's just like spending your money that would facilitate you spending time with people. Oh. So, so it's not just spending money randomly. No, yeah. It's also <laughs> spending it with the people that you love. Yeah. So so basically, if you have money, like try to to invest it more and in spending time with people. Like for yeah. example, don't be afraid to okay if if you haven't seen your family, for example, like spend money on on a holiday with them, like pay for their mm-hmm. for their airfare for their um, where they're staying and yeah. stuff like these these things. Yeah. It's actually a, a good investment because when you invest in memories or like experiences like this, for example, like it's a it's a dividend that keeps on giving. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I remember the last when when I was when I, when I traveled with my family and I was like th- those moments when I when I think of them, like it makes you smile. It's true. And it makes me really happy. I was like, yeah. man, that's a really good investment. Exactly. Yeah. It's because iba yung um, sense pag ginagastos mo yung pera mm. with the people that you love eh. mm. it's, it's not true. like just obviously meron ka ring self um, hindi ko alam kung happiness yun or um, gratification pero halimbawa may, uh, you're spending money on your own mm. you know it's different because you can like afford stuff you can yeah. you, you, there's a sense there as mm. well pero iba pag you're spending it with the people yeah. that you love diba? I think I think Yes, uh, there's a selfish side to things as well. Yeah. Like obviously, like I think a lot of people give gifts uh, for their self satisfaction too. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, but what, what I would say, spend your money that would involve people that you love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because y- <laughs> yung ibang sabi nga nila, like okay, you know, let's accumulate wealth. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In order for us, para you know, para sa mga anak natin, para mm. sa mga ano natin, apo, whatever. Pero ikaw, you're like saying spend everything. <laughs> well, no, 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 that's, that's that, not what I'm that, saying. Like, that, that's not what. No, that's not what I'm <laughs> saying. But going back to to what you're saying about having kids and grandkids and stuff, yeah. like uh, it says on the book as well that uh, look, if if you if you wanna give inheritance to your family, you should give it. When they need it, like, mm-hmm. uh, like statistically, uh, people would need that injection of cash is about, about mid twenties to a lot, around late thirties. Yeah, I think uh, if you're gonna give um, something to your kids, you should give it then, because that's when they need it. Okay. A lot of people, okay, they wait until they die, and then you you get the inheritance when they're dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these, when when your parent, when my parents would die eventually. 
you know, I would be maybe in my my 50s. Yeah. You know, and when I'm 50s, I've already accumulated wealth That's for myself. True, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'd, it would be a bonus yeah. to have that money from my parents, but it would be nicer if I would have gotten it when I'm struggling. Yeah, true. Exactly. So give that money earlier, you know, obviously be clever about it, but but you know, what I'm saying is like don't don't wait for 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 your parents to die or don't wait for yourself to die. Yeah. To give that to. And also it feels like it's not charity when you're like, okay, I'm giving it to you because I'm dead. <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's just, I don't have because, any choice but to give it because, to you. Yeah, yeah, like, just okay, because I'm dead. Anymore, yeah. Because I'm not breathing, so it's like, it's yours. <laughs> yeah. So so also you, your, your kid, whatever grandkids would appreciate that more because it's like you voluntarily gave yeah, it. Too. Yeah. That's um, true. Yeah. And also a lot of people feel guilt when they're, we receive inheritance mm. because because their parents or well, grandparents died, died already. Yeah. Mm. Because there there is a tragedy attached to that money. Yeah, yeah exactly. So like they would they would. Yung think, mga mana pang ayong iba pinagawa yan eh, yung mana. For sure, exactly. <laughs> oh man, people. Yeah. But it's funny kasi meron na kong kakilala. Hindi ko na sa sabi yung pangalan. Hindi sila pinoy. Mm. Pero ang ginagawa nila. I think. This is because of tax reasons as well. May mga ibang um, tao na binibigay nila yung yaman nila mm. when they're actually alive. Yeah. You know, because hindi, kasi nga yung tax reasons, ganun, yeah. pag, pag tumatanda sila, may certain tax na sila na dapat... Um, Inheritance tax. Yeah, yes. parang ganun. So, before they do that, they give it to the yung, yung anak nila. That's ganun, pretty, yeah. Na. So, it's, it's like clever, a clever diba? way to yeah. do it, yeah. Mm. I think more more people should do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, read that book. Amazing. Yeah. Lastly, bro, do you have any shout outs um, mm. to people? Yeah. Sinong mga gusto mong batiin or like promote? Right. Well, uh, to promote, I uh, would like to promote my wife's website, which is Lilica. Just, just Google it, Lilica. Uh, mm-hmm. She does macaroons and stuff. Um, Obviously, your... your uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Although I haven't opened my Instagram for ages, I should do that. Like, uh, Pimp My Ramen, uh, Instagram. Where can they find you, the physical store? Right, like, so Greenwich Market. Um, the old Greenwich Market, mm-hmm. not the Kati Sark. Because mm-hmm. there's another market there. But, like, you should go to the actual Greenwich Market. That's where I am. Uh, mm-hmm. Thursday, Saturday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm there. So, so yeah, you should uh, try Ramen Burgers. Yeah. Um, Say hello to my to my family. Uh, they probably would be watching this uh, yeah. at some point. So, my mom, my dad, my sister, my sister, yeah. and my my daughter. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Thank that's you, guys. All right. That's. Uh, I think that's a wrap. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. a wrap. Right. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Harry, for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Amazing. Cheers. I hope that was good. This is schedule. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. All right. So it's been your host KG and Asiatic, and, and this is the Sun and Soul podcast. podcast. And we out. Peace. All right. Team. Nice. Thank you, bro. No Thank you so much. That was good. That yeah. was really nice, bro. I appreciate. I enjoyed it. that. That's yeah, just a good conversation. It is. Yeah.